Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Attractions Magazine Expansion Drive. Oh, God bless you. Did you sneeze over there? I did sneeze. <laughs> As nice. always, I am your host, Mike Kerrigan, with my friends Didi. Hello, hello, hello. And Kelsey. Hey, guys. Uh, if you don't know, we are your weekly pop culture, nerd culture, geek Every, culture, nerd, everything nerd really weird. that is culture news. Yes! <laughs> Uh, we're gonna talk about all, all kinds of theme park news, TV, movie, video game. Like I said, if it's uh, nerd culture, we're gonna be talking about it. We're also gonna bring in some uh, random topics of a discussion and some uh, questions, comments, and concerns from you. You know what? Because you're able to watch us this week. Oh, we watching. are live, 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 that. live on Attractions Magazine YouTube channel. Hey, so, hey, hey. so hello, YouTube. Yeah, I'm trying to like log in because I'm trying to find our format because it's not logging me. In. Well, <laughs> if not, I have it written <laughs> right Good, next to Because I'm trying to like log in, like I'm trying to log in, I'm like, crap, we're live, we gotta do this. And I am not prepared because I'm never prepared. Everyone's gonna be like, who's she texting now? Again, again, Kelsey's the worst. Kelsey in it already. Kelsey in it already. All right, Deeds, what'd you do this weekend? What did I do this weekend? Um, I didn't. I didn't do much. Well, I went to see the spinners at Epcot, which was really neat. Oh, that was awesome, dude! It was, I did see uh, your little Snapchats and your dude, sister dancing, and it was awesome. There was that's some OG Ooh, stuff right there. Can I ask about how her boyfriend was? You met him for the first time. He was, he was to, cool. Am I allowed to ask that? Yeah, he was cool. He's a good, good guy. It was first time I met my sister's boyfriend. He's a nice guy. Very nice guy. He's cool. like authentic Native American too, which was really cool. Oh, nice. What? Yeah. Is that why she does hashtag my alpha all the time? Yeah. <laughs> She does. Like every single, like, I'm friends with her on Facebook. Where is it? Maybe Facebook. Maybe it's just Instagram. Yeah. One of the two. His name is Rich. Shout out to Rich. My Shout out to Rich. brother in law. How you doing? You're the real MVP, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, what else? else did I do? You did Megacon. You contain right? your sister? Oh, I did Megacon. I can't believe I forgot oh, Megacon. I was waiting for that. I'm, so I'm the one who didn't go when I feel uh, really left out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys both went, and uh, yeah. It was great. It was cool. You met uh, Troy Baker? We met Troy Baker. We were we together. Uh oh. We were. It was awesome. Are we supposed to talk about that the the topic of the show? Uh, well, I don't have Megacon as topic well, of the okay show. Okay, then. Well, so then. yeah, I met Troy Baker, met Nolan North. I have Nathan Drake as my voicemail. I say, if you don't know who uh, they uh, who they are, they're actually um, voice actors. Very famous. Uh, they very, did Uncharted, uh, Last of Us. Uh, you name it, they probably did it. Yeah, I'm so in love oh. with Troy Baker though. Like I saw his face and I'm like, he's a good looking dude. I'm he's not. A, oh he's man, a, he's a very pretty I, I, man. Well, I think we were online and I looked at him and I was like, Hey, Dee Dee. He's like, What? I'm like. So when gets to wake up to that every single moment? <laughs> she did say that, <laughs> and he's he, like, oh, "Oh, he looked, he looked, he's, 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 Hey, listen, I've been so good this podcast. Yes, I, I'm very I, proud of you. It's only taken you people, uh, four episodes to uh, <laughs> to do something you weren't supposed to. And to be fair, I killed <laughs> No, um, No, but I have a horrible mouth. Like, I really do. And I've been so good. They were really worried about that when we started this podcast. Mike took me aside. He's like, listen, so we're going to have to control this a little bit. I think um, all three of us. It's pretty bad. But, you know, yeah, we, we, yeah. we can do it for the show. We can do but it. But anyway, yeah, Troy Baker. Troy, Troy Baker. Baker. Again, like I said, um, do I have to redo the whole thing? No, I just talk him? about Troy Baker. He was beautiful. He smelled nice. He was tall. <laughs> he did smell nice when I met him a couple years ago. I'm not gonna lie. And he, and he had this new haircut, which was very. Oh yeah, I saw the pictures. Oh, I, I don't know if it was you. He does or have her. a weird right ear, but other than that, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's kind of like what? it's kind of like turned in weird. Like I noticed that, but what? I was trying to find a flaw with him so that my love could be like toned down a, a little weird bit. right. I've never heard that ever. I've weird. heard someone not liking toes or, I didn't or see their his hands toes. looking might, weird, or, but a weird ear. But what's also what's also really neat about Troy Baker, it seems like he's very zen. Yeah. Because during the Q&A, he was like saying a lot of neat stuff, like very inspirational what, was stuff. He, was he selling his uh, his album there? He talked about it so, very briefly. So very I was briefly. Actually, two years ago when I met him, um, he was selling his his new album that he does, and it's it's like you said, a very zen music. You know, they go out into like the middle of nowhere in some cabin and have like you know thirty band members make this album, and it's so chill. Like, so that's what, what kind I'm, of music is it? Is it just kind of like hippy dippy, kind of like chill music? Yeah, kind of it's music? like you know, you're just there to just relax. And is it, uh, is it like indie or is it like? chant like like, like no, roman no, no. monks is there like, music like like lyrics to it or is it yeah, just like sound? there's all music there's you know there's there's lyrics and whatnot it's think of like a like, like a new up? wave poppy 
chill. I don't I don't even know how to explain it. That's neat. I'll, I'll let you borrow the CD. It's good. You should. You yeah. bought the CD? Yeah, because yeah. if you bought the CD, you got a free autograph. So I was like, oh, oh yes, more autographs for Mike. So. And, what's the band free, called? And a free picture. It's just Troy Baker. <laughs> Troy Baker. Yeah. Yeah. You can find it on Troy iTunes Baker and Google Play and everything else. Was it? And plus you got a free picture with this year. Oh, man, that was... Ooh, just for an autograph. Was, yeah, it, was a, it, it seemed was expensive. So on the website, it said autographs would be 25 bucks, and then voicemails would be like 35 for both uh, voice actors. I love the fact that there's voicemail options yeah. on there. Like, so many people have asked. Because like before, I had Troy Baker do my voicemail before. I love that Stalin. voicemail. I'd awesome. only call you, and I, I really would hope that you would answer just so I could pretend <laughs> I was calling Troy Baker. <laughs> and then like last year, I think when I met Troy Baker, I think it was last, two years ago, it was... Like yeah, when he did the, uh, the Lord of the Rings one, yeah. This year, for each signature, it was forty dollars. Oh, I think fifty dollars for the voicemail. Do you think it was because both of them were there? I think it was also because both of them were there, and because just it's so popular, the demand is high. Oh. That's like you know, I even mentioned to you that I thought you know maybe we should all split you know the money and then get maybe an intro for the podcast from you know, Nathan Drake or Joel from The Last of Us, and then you told me it was fifty bucks. I'm like. Eh. I think I can I live with Banks saying, it. hey, this is the podcast. I think it would have <laughs> been worth it, actually. Maybe people would listen to us more. <laughs> oh, but yeah. I'm, I, did everybody had a good time, though? Oh, Make con, great awesome. Time. Always. It was great. It was so much fun. I it was went, great. The only day I didn't go was Sunday because I just... <laughs> Dead. I went out Saturday night, and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> oh, I was... Me and Didi that, went that out Saturday was, night, that and that's all we're going to say about that. Um, so we didn't do a whole lot this weekend. Um, we went and saw a couple of movies. Matter of fact, we'll talk about it in the next, uh, the new, well, the first news topic. Um, and then we went and explored the art of animation resort over at Disney. I've never been over there before. It's I, actually really cool. Have you ever been I there? I still <laughs> never yeah, been the thing, there. It's the first time that I've been. And everyone says it's really neat in there. Like, it's really, really cool. Yeah, the, the, the theming is really cool. Um, of course, they, they have four different sections to the hotel. They had um, uh, Little Mermaid. They had Lion King. They have Nemo. But the coolest one, I thought, was Cars. You know, it looked like when you're over the Cars Hotel area, it it straight up looks like you're in Radiator Cars Land. Springs? Yeah, Radio Springs. Yeah, yeah. I but, can't do Cars. I really can't. Why? Because my nephew, when he was little, because uh, when I lived at home back in the day, when he was like really little, he lived with us and stuff. My, my sister and him did. And that was his movie as a baby. I just watch it over and over. Oh, like seriously, like six times a day over. If I had to hear <laughs> ka-chow one more time, I just... Oh, I what about life it. is a highway? <laughs> I like, I, like my well, ears bled strike, a little strike. bit. <laughs> oh, gosh. I that, occasionally that'll play at work and it just brings down. Like I look, look in the sky and I'm like... Just Save war zone now. going through my mind. Oh, oh yeah. not long. All right, okay. well, let's go ahead and get into the news. We have, let's see, how many How many on this uh, list uh, here? We, we got? have six. We have six. Wow. Six items on the news. Six So it's items. not not a very big week like no. we had last week. Um, we're going to get right into it. Number one, uh, we don't have a whole lot written down just because I just want to talk about it, is the uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy mission breakout opened up at Disneyland this weekend. Did you see the uh, video for it? I, I did not care about spoilers because I'm not getting to Disneyland anytime soon. I watched the entire thing. This thing looks so cool. Are you serious? It looks really cool. I hate... Okay, I love the aesthetic for Tower of Terror, and this looks beautiful. I love the hotel. I love everything. Um, it's amazing, but I hate that ride so much. <laughs> Just the going up and down? I love roller coasters more than anything, okay? But... That because you're going around, you're doing stuff. This one's literally just, oh, you're gonna drop to your death. Oh, you're gonna drop to your death again. Oh, you're gonna drop to well, one more time. Whenever we we would go to the parks with you, it was the kids always trying to talk you into yeah, it. Yeah, and, and I, just... I, I don't. <laughs> the, there's pictures of me just like hiding in Mike's like shirt or somebody else's shirt, like or Fraka, yeah, just like yeah. crying a little bit. I don't know what's funnier, like you know the pictures of Aaron or Gavin going down a roller coaster, or oh, or, 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 or yeah, yeah, or or <laughs> Kelsey. I was about to try and say Kelsey and coaster at the same time, uh, or Kelsey on Tower of Terror, where it's just like pure like fear and nothing else like nothing else scares me it's so funny i can do horror nights i'm totally fine i'm like hey guys how you doing this is great times i can do roller coasters absolute insanity but if it's just a drop i'm i can't do it like i just like i hate i want to cry a little bit but uh, getting back into guardians did, did you guys watch the videos yeah no, i watched not it. seen the video i i Everyone keeps talking about it, but I'm like, oh, I'll see you when I get home. Never do it. <laughs> no, I was I a little so. surprised that they added some characters from the new movie. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was just to be like the, I originally thought the concept just was to be the escape from the first movie. 
I, thought, I, don't, the, I, don't, I thought they were escaping from the prison. I thought that's what it was. I think be. like I think that everybody was putting a lot into it that they thought that this had something to do with the MCU. Um, and James Gunn to come out and said that no, this has nothing to do with the MCU yeah, I whatsoever. That after. Um, but I was surprised too. Of course, we're going to talk spoilers just because if you're watching this or you're listening to this, or you're a friend of attractions, you've probably already watched the video. Um, Mantis is in it. And I was really surprised to see Mantis. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, but She's the, the so whole thing though. is so cool. You know, going into the queue itself, you're there in the collector's room. Like, are you they, serious? It's it's so cool, and they have oh, props so from dope. the different movies. Do like they, they have Howard the Duck though. I don't think I saw I anything with Howard ooh. the Duck. Oh, well, research. What, what we got here? They do have a Howard the Duck plush for sale. Oh, a Howard, Howard the Duck, Duck plush. plush. Okay, worth it. But um, Figment is actually Duck. hiding in one of the cages. Who is what? Figment? That's amazing. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. So if you that's, go on, that's, that's if you awesome. on the video that's, on Attractions Magazine awesome. YouTube channel, uh, you can actually see there's that's a box here. that actually has Figment right there. See, in I didn't the see the uh, waiting amazing. room. I only saw the actual ride, but I didn't see the collector's room. Yeah, it's cool. They have like um the dark elf mask from uh, Thor. Uh, what's Seven that? Chris. Uh, the, the, the Dark World. Second, the second dark Thor World. Movie. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And then they have like an Ultron um, robot that's torn to pieces. You know, blah blah blah. There's a bunch of cool stuff from the props or from the from the. I would just want to sit in there and just be like, "Can I be my room, please? Can I live here?" But the ride itself looks cool. I mean, like, you know, Rocket's really involved with it. And, you know, they have an animatronic for it. It looks... I I want to go ride it. So, you got but I've always trip. wondered... Hey, Attractions, you want to send this to Disneyland? <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered, though, is... Was this was the uh, Tower Terror ride at Disneyland the same as ours? Basically, no, not really. Um, like it's not, weird not because I didn't even know about this until, matter of fact, I think it was Banks that told me about it. When you go on to the ride itself, there's a hallway that you walk through. So like you oh. don't go into the elevator directly. You're going in through like a hallway, and then it's also missing a scene as well, right? Banks, what? I'm sorry, research. Yeah. So we're missing. We're, I have so much I can talk about this that. So this is a new podcast we have to do. <laughs> yeah, their tower was the worst of all the towers. It had weird stuff to it. I hated it. Um, but it was still tower. I still loved it, but I'm excited for the new ride. Cool. Yeah. It, it looks fun. See, Check I'm it out. really into all the spooky stuff, so I really like the idea of, like, I love Twilight Zone, and I love so, spooky we'll stuff. We still have the yeah, we so, should, ever. Yeah. we have the OG tower. So for once, we uh, we actually have something better than better California. than Disneyland. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I just love the creepy ghosts, that's, and that's they're like, "Hi guys!" Even though it's really morbid, that Disney has like a a dead little girl ghost in their vi- like one of their rides. Like, if you think about that, that's like hilariously and if, weird, morbid. Yeah, if, our, that ride used to give me nightmares as a kid. If oh, I was so about it. It was like my favorite. If only Mahoney could have saved him. Oh God! <laughs> Gosh. Come on, you guys know about that Tower of Terror movie. Come on. I yes. love that movie. Kirsten I Kirsten still Dunst love movie? that movie. Uh, it's Kirsten Dunst was in that movie. I, was, she, was she in it? Yeah, she yeah, was, was like her. the daughter. I know Man. she was in Interview with the Vampire. Yeah. Interview, yeah, yeah. She yeah, was yeah, in Interview with the Vampire. How do you go from Interview with the Vampire to Tower of Terror? Actually, <laughs> I, think, I don't think she's a horrible actress. I think that she was a better child actress than she is an adult actress, though. Yeah, I, I haven't seen her. I have a lot of weird feelings about that. Spider Man, what, two? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Maybe three. But I that don't movie know. was just a wreck. In All right, so number two, we're going to get into the box office wrap up. Uh, IGN, uh, Alex Osborne says While Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales topped the box office in its domestic debut, its estimated three day weekend earnings of only tw- $62.2 million may get the second lowest debut in the history of the franchise. The film is projected to make an approximately seventy-six million over the four-day weekend, which includes estimated earnings up through Memorial Day. While Pirates of the Caribbean franchise performance has been waning domestically, the series has grown in popularity overseas. In fact, the series' fourth entry on Stranger Tides is the franchise's highest-grossing installment, Penelope Cruz, uh, internationally with eight hundred and four point six million. Despite it being the Pirates' film that failed to crack three hundred million domestically. Meanwhile, the weekend's other big release, Baywatch, debuted in third place. The Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron-led lifeguard comedy earned an estimated $18.1 million over the three-day weekend and projected to finish the four-day weekend with $22 million. Um, it, apparently, that fell below expectations. I thought it was going to get around 40 but I saw both movies. Okay. Uh, did, did any of you see either one? No, no. I was mega conning this weekend. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so, Friday morning, uh, of course, you know, I'm off Fridays. The kids are working. Uh, kids my wife are working? and I, or kids are at school. Uh, <laughs> Frog and I went. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> they're doing that horror night thing already. Oh, speaking uh, of the the additions, just went up today. Anyways, just kidding. All right, so uh, Baywatch. We went and saw it. Um, it's a horrible movie, but it's hilarious. It's it's the worst movie ever. It's <laughs> like, so bad. Like <laughs> worth seeing it though. Yes, I mean but, I don't know if I could see it in a theater to be honest, but you know because I think we got it for buy one get one free because they were yeah. at, they were offering something through the Adam app. Yeah, I was gonna say it was like six bucks for both of us to go, so but it wasn't it, bad. Yeah. But, um, they, but like my friend said, it was an SNL skit gone too long. 
Yeah, he's he's a, he's, a, he's a screenwriter. So yeah, he's yeah, just yeah. Like it's a, it's good if you like SNL. But it shouldn't have been a whole movie. Yeah, it shouldn't have been a whole. Movie. It, it, I was perfectly fine with it. Like I said, it's a horrible movie. I went in just to go laugh. And that's exactly what I did. The entire movie was laugh. So as long as you don't expect too much, you're fine. Yeah, don't okay. don't want to go in expecting now, an Academy Award how movie. How many um, appearances does David Hasselhoff make? Um, spoilers. There's one. Yeah. Um, but it has the theme music to the original TV show yes. when he shows up. Oh, I am watching that movie <laughs> now. <laughs> that's it. I'm sold. Um, make sure you do not bring the children to go see this movie. Oh, it's a hard R movie. Um. Yeah, there's um, it is rated R, right? A yeah, bit, yeah there, it's a very R rated. Um, Dwayne Johnson, um, he's hilarious. Um, <laughs> Zach Efron is just as funny in this movie. Maybe The Rock puts him into some uh, peculiar situations, and yeah, just don't bring the kids to this one um, unless you want to scar them for life. Yeah, <laughs> Pirates, on the other hand, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I mean, of course, I loved all the other movies as well. Um, they they wrap it up in a way that you think it could be done. But there may be another one after this. Okay, that's good. I I like that. Okay, then list them. What's your favorite pirate movie in order? Favorite pirate movie in order? Pirates, like pirates movie. Like, sorry. Oh man, you can do it in order. That's easy. For the me. Penelope Cruz. I think I go last. in order. Really? Yeah. You like the third one? See, that's, that, and I said that last week. I I was one of the what few that the actually one? really I'm did like the third, what one. The third one. Was. That's the one where they're like they're going down in the the crazy the hole, little crazy thing, and then they went up. And then it just made the whole movie made no sense. I, I don't remember. Yeah, that that, that's it. fine. But I'm not like with normal people where I don't really hate a lot of movies. And I, I, I really enjoyed it. But, you know, I also a fan of, you know, Keira Knightley and I love Davy Jones. And how, I much, don't know. how much is Keira Knightley in this one? Is she? Not no, overly spoilers, but I just, I'm not, oh, not going to talk about that. I can't talk. We'll tell. I'll talk. I'll talk to you it's, after it's, the that podcast. That means it's a big spoiler. No. Can I'm, you just write a note that says like. No, because then Didi can see if no. I don't care if Didi no. gets spoiled or not. No, I can't do that. My my needs matter, Didi. No, I can't do that to Didi. He, he, I know he doesn't like the spoilers, and I know he likes pirates, so I, I'm going to say before him. Except the third movie. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the fourth one. I don't know why Penelope Cruz is oh. not. Do they explain why Penelope Cruz oh, is I not just, in this movie? I thought she no. was such a wasteful character. I hated that character. How is she a waste of a character? It she was, was just, an integral part of the fourth movie. Yeah, because it was just a Mary Sue, but pirates. Like, oh, I'm related to this one, but I'm also Jack Sparrow's love interest. Oh, no, look at me. I'm so interesting. But she was, and so, she was so boring. Uh, but she oh. was so awesome. I thought she made that movie, in I, my opinion. I, I, I wanted it. more mermaids. There's no reference to her in this movie, but I'm hoping with the next installment that they, I mean, because, of course, at the end of the fourth one, they talk about you know her with the, the voodoo doll. Yeah. You know, that she has of Jack, and she has that little sneerful, you know, I don't dislike, I like Penelope Cruz, I just did not like that character. character. It's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with Penelope, like, I love her, I just did not, I think they just could have done so much more with that character, I don't know. I liked it. But, mm, I liked her. But make sure if it. you do go see it, you stay till after the credits. Oh, so they oh, pulled a marble. Snap. Yeah, and, and they've done that for the past few movies. No, that's right. Matter of fact, the Penelope Cruz movie was yeah. at the end of that one. But that's right. I remember they did that with the third one. Yeah, yeah. Um, number two, actually, this is number three. Actually, or no, is it number one? No. I think no. We, number two was uh, the. Yeah, yeah. Maybe... I, I'm out of order here. Oh well, this is number three. Um, Netflix, Castlevania animated series release date announced, and the first trailer is revealed. I'm hey. very excited. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Jonathan Dornbush over at IGN says Netflix has released their first trailer for its upcoming animated Castlevania series, revealing when the series will debut on the streaming service, and that will be July 7th. Producer oh. Adi Shankar, oh my God, previously revealed the <laughs> first poster for the series shortly after the series announcement earlier this year. Shankar spoke to IGN at the time of the announcement, saying that the series is Castlevania, very much done in the vein of Game of Thrones. That's dope. I haven't watched the trailer yet. How, I, I haven't watched it either. Yet. I wonder how adult it's going to be. Oh, it, uh, this is vein of Game of Thrones. Yeah. I was exactly. Very adult. So that's what I'm saying. Like at first, I thought it was just going to be kind of a like a fun show. No, no. Even though even the old cartoon with Simon Belmont back mm -hmm. in like the early '90s with the Mario, but it still the, had that camp, like a little bit of a campiness to it, to me. I mean, they just made him like a very like like a jokey character, but everything else that was um, yeah. content with him fighting Dracula was very dark. It was a very dark show back yeah. in the early '90s. I remember as a kid. And it, I think I did see like uh, screenshots where I don't know if it was or not, but it looked like Alucard. So I'm all about oh, that life. No. What? You don't like Alucard? I, I like. If I you tell me you don't like Symphony of the Night, we're going to fight. I like I like Symphony of the Night, but I want there to be a Belmont. Oh, um, no, there is a Belmont. OK, I know there's a Belmont, but okay. I, I thought in the screenshot I saw was that Alucard is in it as well. I I thought I saw that, too. To okay. be honest with you. Yeah. 
So you'd be okay with that then? I would be okay with that. Okay, then. okay. So I'm I'm excited for it. Um, the next one, um, I, I'm just gonna laugh at because I don't think anybody knows what the world's going on. Um, big changes are in store for Final Fantasy VII remake, uh. says Colin Campbell over Polygon. Square Enix has brought development for its Final Fantasy VII remake in house, deciding against the use of external studio help. The, ser- oh, <laughs> the series-based remake, uh, 1997 role-playing classic Final Fantasy VII, was being partially handled by outsourcing company CyberConnect2, which is best known for its work work on the Naruto series. Now, Square Enix's Naoki Hamaguchi, uh, who previously headed up Mobius Final Fantasy, is taking over development. In a YouTube stream uh, promoting Mobius, Hamaguchi talked about the change, translation from Nova Crystallis. So far, de- development has been carried out mainly with the support of external partners, he said. However, in view of factors such as improving quality when the product goes into mass production in the future, the company has decided to shift development system back to within the company so as to maintain a stable s- schedule and have control over factors such as quality. We will be forming a robust system within the company to properly carry out development. Final Fantasy VII Remake was first revealed for PlayStation 4 back in 2015. So it's going to be the new uh, Avatar Land. It's going to yeah, be in um, <laughs> 2097. Yeah. Final Fantasy VII will be remade. Do you know you know the best part about all that? They said like even before this came out that Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy yeah. 7 are at least three years away. I, uh, oh, I know. Do you, I, I know that um, I'm just getting a little ahead of myself because that's part of my like talking about like I really wanted that for E3. I really wanted some kind yeah, of... No way. I really wanted some kind of footage for Kingdom Hearts 3 and or Final Fantasy 7, but I as think, far as I think that they're just going to just completely brush over you, it. You may get some type of in-game footage. Um, Maybe like a brief little nugget of something. but Because they even did that when they announced Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, was they, yeah. they used just a new engine, like, oh, this is Kingdom Hearts, and then they had the, the brief thing for Final Fantasy, well, Final do you think Fantasy that 7 a while um, ago. Because they know they had the PS, uh, Pro, PS4 Pro, yeah. it is. Do you think they're trying to like edit it so that it fits really well with that or nope. do you think they're just taking nope, forever just, in, in, i'm just being slightly in, hopeful with it like maybe there's a reason in, in the same vein of uh kelsing it they're squaring it they're square no they're, they're straight up it's, Kelsey. It's, they're squaring it. it's square being square yeah. the oh L7 gosh, so bad. i don't think here. we're gonna see this for at least another three years at both least, of them at least i huge l we'll, we'll see it on the ps5 and the xbox 2 or whatever the heck they're gonna call <laughs> it ps27 more like it's, it's bad because it's like hilarious. i was really excited when they announced it oh two when years it first ago. came out like uh me and my brother were watching it and he if anybody that knows my brother he's not an overly um excitable. emotional yeah. excitable person he's very hey guys and he's super <laughs> like just no emotion like he has emotion but you know what i mean he's yeah, very yeah. like whatever cool calm collected exactly um so we were sitting there watching it, and then all of a sudden you start seeing like the beginning of it, and I see his eyes just go wide, and he just grabs me like and just starts shaking it, and he's like Kelsey, 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 and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, and, like I'm like I looked at him like I was like freaking out too, but I was more freaking out of the fact that he was showing emotions. <laughs> I was like, what is happening here? Yeah, I I don't I don't think we're getting this anytime soon, well, and it's supposed to be esp- ep- episodic too. I don't get it. Yeah, what, what are they doing? It's supposed to be like three or four episodes. So like each episode was the last like seven hours of gameplay, I believe seven to ten hours of gameplay. And I think I even called it at the time when they first announced the Kingdom Hearts three or whatever. I was like, it's gonna be like five or six years before. It's I love out. Kingdom Hearts though. I just oh no, I do I too. Just, I think it's Kingdom just, Hearts is great. I it's just, just confusing it and overrated. Uh, <laughs> I think it's, it is. I think it's, it's one fun. of the most overrated games. Great game, don't get me wrong, but I think it's extremely overrated. I Everyone would likes it, to, it because I would, would of love it to be characters. a TV show. Is that weird? Like, I would have really liked Kingdom Hearts to be like a TV show. I think they'd be more confusing than Lost. <laughs> <laughs> if they did it correctly. I don't know. I There's so many games and so many storylines, and this person is the same as this person, but in this life, he's this person. I'm like, what? I'll just like, just give me goofy battling Maleficent. That's all I want. Thank you. And Donald's useless every time he wants you to heal him, or you, you want him and to then, heal you. He just is off just doing duck stuff. It's like that's why that's why it's like that's why they bread in the corner. Yeah, like (laughs) seriously, he's in there just like bread in his hands. Like, oh, sorry guys, I can't even do a. That was more of a Mickey than it was a Donald. I can't talk like Donald, but goodness gracious, you always talk like Donald talks a lot. This (laughs) just because everyone's out of their brain. If you guys ever get a hang around Dee Dee, every single um, impression he does of anyone, whether they're English, whether they're Southern, whether they're Northerner, no matter what they are, they have that accent. It's true because everyone sounds the same. That's how Banks talks too, right? Yeah, Banks talks just like this. <laughs> just well, like this. Welcome to the show. This is Banks. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Please, Banks, can you can you do that it's this week? Just don't tell Matt what you're doing. And just gonna just just start. <laughs> just go back and watch 
Texas drugs. <laughs> Throw off Elisa a little bit. What? What is going on? Um, number five. There is a report from Polygon by, by Callan Campbell that Nintendo plans massive Switch manufacturing push. Well, I mean, so are we going a little bit into talking about some of the stuff we were talking about? No, we're talking about, no, we're talking no, about Switch this, hardware, no, no, like the actual okay. console. So no, I've, this is not your predictions. This is just news. Uh, since Switch arrived in March, the console has been difficult to find, needless to say. Nintendo's success was reflected in recent earnings report, which stated that the machine had sold 2.74 million units in its launch window, which is redonkulous. I don't mean to interrupt. I still have to get it. But did you say uh, ridiculous to find, like hard to find? That's an understatement of the year. It's yeah. impossible Nintendo, to find yeah. legitimately. N- Nintendo doing Nintendo things. They, they, know, they then, know what they're doing. Yeah, and then what sucks is like, he, Mike, Mike links me to every <laughs> single... <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm going on keg. And I'm just like, all right, let me see. I'm not, not like I'm going to get it. Because, you but won't then, get it. <laughs> well, when you read the rest of that article, I, I do want to get it. <laughs> but I, li- I see it and I'm like, oh, let me see if I can get it. Boom. I'm like, oh, it's there. I'll click on add to cart. Sold out. And then all of a sudden, sold out. Yep. But the only thing that's left, those $500, $600 bundles. Oh, and I'm like GameStop and everything. Yeah. yeah. No, no thanks. And that come with Mario Kart. Don't hate on Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. Arms I love Mario Kart. Get out of here with that. All right. Well, let me finish the story. Uh, at this time, Nintendo stated that it planned to send sell 10 million more Switch consoles by the end of the financial year in 2018 of March. But a new report in today's Financial Times, as reported by GamesIndustry.biz, suggests that the company has even more ambitious plans. According to the report, Nintendo chiefs have ordered that the company churn out 18 million units. By the end of March, Nintendo is concerned that the shortages this Christmas will work against its attempts to recover from the commercial failure of the Wii U and reestablish the company as a serious hardware player. Switch was also given a lift by recent news that the company's Monster Hunter 20, (laughs) this is what you're freaking out about, will be coming to the console, which caused a significant rise in Nintendo's share price. I'm actually really excited for Um, this. (laughs) But Financial Times, generally trustworthy media outlet, also reports that Nintendo might have been stymied by a general shortage of LCD screens. So, um, oh, it's LCD screens on those things. Yeah, yeah, they're not uh, OLED. Yeah, no. I, I thought it was all. Oh my no. goodness, I didn't but know they, that. But they, but they look really good. They did when yeah. you showed me uh, Zelda. I was like, whoa. Yeah. There's really two good. games in pit- uh, particular that I really am excited about, but those are two of my E3 predictions. So I don't want to talk yeah, about no, them. Yeah, no, 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 keep but that. They're, for, but same, but they're the reasons later. that I want to get it and find it now, so I have it yeah. as soon as I, those games mm. come out. So Monster Hunter does it for you, huh? Oh yeah, I got the um, uh, Ultimate Monster Hunter. That's the uh, 3DS one. and uh, Monster Hunter Generations. I don't think I've well, ever awesome. played Monster Hunter before. Really? Have you? It's, it's complicated. It's a it's a complicated game, but it's once you get the hang of it, it's awesome. I, I, I yeah, I, I hated many... it with the first few weeks I had it. Now, did, was it on a portable system before? 3DS. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now you'll be able to play it on that huge, you know, Switch huge screen. screen, and oh, it's gonna be easier with the controls. Bring it wherever. Oh yeah. Oh, Switch. Oh, Tony, yeah. you get one. Get one. They have this awesome deal. If you if you haven't seen it yet, like this really nice Zelda case made by Nintendo for like 20 bucks. Yeah, I wish they would have had those by the time I actually went to buy <laughs> mine. No one, not, I kid you not. So I went and bought my Switch and I went to six stores. Not one person had a case. Are you serious? And I wanted one of the carrying cases. This way you could put cartridges and then you know, yeah. the Switch, you know, um, the Joy-Con candle things or whatever on there. Yeah. Not one person had a case. I had to so order from Amazon. you don't have Amazon. to actually hold your Switches in your mouth? No. The, oh, the cartridges? cartridges? I'm like, what are you cartridges talking about? That's what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I was bringing it to work when I first got it. <laughs> um, I wrapped it in an old T-shirt in order to bring it to work because I did not want to just put it in my bag anywhere. That's so funny. Yeah. Because wow. I had no case for like a week. Yeah. It was crazy. I would have. Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh, number six, Banks is actually going to be really excited about this one. The Nintendo theme park will probably include real life Mario Kart. Dude, are you serious? I know. Are I you am serious right so now? pumped about that. Is like, this real? Uh, Hold on. Let me read it. As soon as I heard that they were doing it. Dude, I didn't know this. Let me just freak out for you. As soon as I heard that they were doing it, that's all I wanted. I'm like, I just want Mario Kart and I don't care about anything so else. So that was the biggest rumor for the longest time. Um, but IGN, Joe Scarbles is reporting Nintendo has all but confirmed that its US theme parks will have the same name as their Japanese counterpart, Super Nintendo World. Filing a U.S. trademark for the name, as spotted by comicbook.com, we may also have a sense of one of its um, one of its attractions. The filing includes specific mention of the management or arrangement of kart racing. Can anyone think of a suitable Nintendo franchise for that? I'm struggling. As with all the trademarks, some list that there will 
simply to cover Nintendo for others using the name for their own game. But there are mentions of Super Nintendo World hotels, restaurants, Christmas tree decorations, and a whole heap of different kinds of clothes. Nintendo theme parks are currently planned for Osaka, Orlando, and Hollywood, with Japanese entry coming first in time for the 2020 uh, Olympic Games. Speaking last year, Nintendo said, Super Nintendo World will be comprised of expansive and multi-level environments filled with unprecedented state-of-the-art rides, interactive areas, shops, and restaurants, all featuring Nintendo's most popular characters and games. Okay, I already have a problem with two of them. Two what? questions. Number one, if we're going to talk about Mario Kart, is it going to be a simulator? Because it is universal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, now, no, I, I think I think they'll figure out some way to do like an actual kart deal. But then uh, how are you going to be able to... I want to throw blue shells at everyone. But No, but how are we, how is it supposed to happen? Because there's no space. Well, there's all that's coming oh, down. Do you think it might be where Wet and Wild is? Research. Do you think it might be where Wet and Wild is? No. Why would it be Wet and Wild? Where the old Wet and Wild is? I thought they're tearing down, down like that whole down. Curious George and um, uh, Woody Woodpecker Fi- uh, and that's, Fievel. Fievel. that's not that's not a big area there's a though. Big area, but you still have the old houses back there. There's, there's a lot backstage. Yeah. There's, there's the parade building area. The area okay. where they used to have um the the hotel. The from, hotel, uh, yeah. Bates Motel. The old Hard Rock area. I really miss yeah, that, that one, though. Yeah. I miss it. I love that one. Dude, I think there's, I think there's, there's enough space back There's a whole back area over I'm there. Thinking, well, I'm the thinking it's going to be like a full-on theme park. Like, oh my God, we're going to go to... Well, no, it's kind of like going to be like an add-on for like Harry Potter. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. No, I keep hearing that there's going to be a castle. I'm, I'll be all hype if I see I it would be a Princess hype. Zelda's castle or oh, you know, Daisy's castle oh. or... I would be hyped or whatever. if it was... Super Mario Brothers just, castle. Oh my god. It's really it's really dorky. Like brick brick brick. Oh my god. <laughs> they have the flag up there. You walk in, sorry, but your princess is another <laughs> castle. Oh, that would be oh, that would be phenomenal. I would die. What do you, no, I'm really excited about the food. Like I like themed food because I'm a total dork. Like I just want to go to Pandora, just eat the hamburger pods. Ew. That's all I care about. <laughs> That's so basic. Well, what do you think they would do food wise? I don't know. That's I'm, I'm so excited to see like how they theme it. I think maybe maybe some type of like mushroom burger looking uh, thing or whatever. No, I'm not saying I it's just, an actual mushroom. No, they're mushroom people. We cannot eat them. <laughs> but no, that's what he you know, eats in order to grow. And then you maybe do something maybe. with like a flower or whatever. Or, they, they, they might have like a dessert thing. Yeah, yeah. I figure I see a little like, like candies or something. Or something. Or something. Or, yeah, 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 something fun. It'd be funny to do like marshmallow. Like so that. besides a, a Mario Kart, Kelsey, what, what kind of ride would you want to see? Hmm. And just talking to all Nintendo. All Nintendo, oof. I want something. Ooh, I don't know. That's the hard choice. I'm trying to think. I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm I'm going completely blank right, right now. Well, you know what would be it. really neat? Uh, I, I know a couple of things. Uh, a Splatoon like laser area, like a like a virtual Splatoon. So kind of like what they do with Curious George a little bit. Oh, I don't know what they do with Curious Oh, they George. have like the whole thing where like you you put like the foam Curious balls and like you know, and like their little air guns or whatever. I guess. So kind of sort of like. But that. like, but like you know, like instead of like a like a virtual because I guess platoon you you paint. Yeah. And whatever you have at the end, you yeah. win. I think you could do it like that, but virtually in a big old like sound simulator. Stage. Yeah, which is <laughs> no simulator. <laughs> or you could ride Epona through uh, Hyrule Field on simulator. That's another. I, one. They have to do something. Um, some Zelda. Something Zelda. Yeah, of course. Yeah, right? I, I they can have a, an Epona carousel. On a simulator, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think Zelda would be kind of hard to do a yeah. ride though. Besides Epona, like, exactly. I, don't know I think I think I think they should do like maybe well, like at least a, a play area or something. I don't but know. but they could have like a maybe like a tour of the Temple of Time. That'd be really neat. Or through the, go through the Lost Forest to find the a game where you only sword. you go around and just bla- break like faces and stuff around like pots and. Well, you could do gym. well even like what what Didi's talking about with you know, the forest. Maybe you do I think over uh, Shanghai they do kind of like the maze for. Um, Alice in Wonderland. Ooh. So maybe do something like that, Ooh. but would we'll do it with the the forest, or something like they do with Resident Evil, like over in Japan. But we'll something similar, like, but like another Disney property, or Disney uh, property, sorry. Nintendo, Nintendo property. Hmm. I wonder if they're going to do something like a Mario Party game or something like a a simulator. I don't know. There's there's all kinds really of possibilities. Neat. So many yeah. possibilities, but knowing Universal, will probably be a bunch of simulators. <laughs> Uh, number seven, um, I'm going to let you take the, the reins with this one, Didi, uh, because you're the one who actually just sent it to me right before we started. There's an Animaniacs reboot coming. Oh my yes, I mean, Animaniacs reboot with Steven Spielberg at the helm. So there's like, it seems like everyone's really excited about this. I just learned about this maybe about an hour or two ago. Uh, I'm hyped. It's like Animaniacs, um, oddly enough, is like one of those shows that we watch all the time, Frog and I, um, when we're going to bed. Like, we'll just turn on Animaniacs and just something to watch as we're going to sleep yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Animax is so good, but do you think it would be same animation style? No, it has to be better. They'll, they'll, I, they'll definitely have to be I better. I think part of the charm is the old animation style, though. I don't really like 
I don't know. I, I think I, I want the. You don't one. want a computer animated? No, no, I really don't. I'm so sick. I like hand drawn animation. I'm a sucker for it. So I like. I mean, the digital stuff. I like the um, computer generate or whatever it is. Is okay. And it's nice. I understand why it's necessary nowadays, but. I like the old school art. Now, does all the other mini cartoons come with it? You know, does Buttons oh and Mindy come back? Does you know Slappy the Squirrel? And I would, I would die. Oh, Slappy! I forgot. About I Slappy would die. The is it, it, yeah, Buttons and Mindy, Slappy, um, the the Good Pigeons. Yes. And then um, of course, Pinky and the Brain. Pinky and the Brain, of course. Pinky yeah. the Brain. That's all I want. Yeah, I, I think it'd be cool. I can't wait. Like, it, I've introduced it to my kids. Of course, they're like, "Ew, what's this four by three? You know, why does it have black you know bars on the side? Yeah, blah blah blah." But like, I'm, I'm excited for it. The, HD Animaniacs, hell yeah. yeah. But Heck it seems yeah. like in the article I read, it seems like they're going to do it animated, like straight up full on animation, no computers. The real question is, oh, yeah, guys, a... what are we going to do today, brain? <laughs> <laughs> the same thing we do every night of the night. Are we, are we going to do the show on attractions? I just want to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What do you want to do? All right, so we're going to get into our topic of the show. Isn't this a song? It's your random song. Come on. Okay, okay um, this, this it's your the topic profile. of the show. Got to oh, do things oh. that we know. Boom, boom. I don't know. Oh, I have nothing boy. today. We got a, it we got a, this week. We got a future MC right here. <laughs> we can, you we don't can, know we can. about me. Ever, ever, ever. So what, if, what? If, if you're a nerd like we are, um, we're very excited for this coming weekend because E3 starts. Oh, I know. My grandma's in town and I'm kind of like, hey, listen, grandma. Can you <laughs> just like, you going to watch E3 with me or... <laughs> Well, luckily it's at night, so usually maybe she'll like pass out by the I, time that. I'll just get her some like like some warm milk, some <laughs> sleeping aid. Just like here's some here, Grandma. Here's some Nyquil. Or, oh my you, god! <laughs> I'm, this took a turn. It's so, like, uh, hey, Grandma, go away. Push you in the face. <laughs> I really hope she doesn't I'm figure out how to this. ever listen to my podcast. I'm so E3, if you don't know, it's uh, the big convention over in LA, and they talk about all the new games that are coming up. Um, we're very excited because they do all kinds of different conferences. You know, Nintendo does one, Xbox, Sony. Matter of fact, even some of the publishers like Bethesda does uh, conferences, and they talk about all yes. the new stuff coming, whether it be this year or a couple years later, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to go around the table and make some of our predictions and see how wrong or right you know we can be. So um, who would like to go first? I mean, my, mine are pretty basic. One, one, like Two of them I was talking about one of the Switch that I just really want to see gameplay for, mm. or at least... I know one of them's announced, and I want the other one to be announced so badly for the Switch. Well, this I is, really the, want Animal Crossing. I really want Animal Crossing. Wait, to so, be what's your prediction, though? I thought, oh, no, Animal Crossing. No, I'm thinking the other one that you were talking about last week was um, Harvest, Harvest Moon. Moon. Yeah, I'm pre- I really want to see. I really predict that hopefully because they announced that. I really hope that they show some gameplay for it on, on the Switch. On the Switch, okay. Think, well, oh, but I think they already um, people's. Uh, I think people have already seen it because they, you know, they re- they pre record they pre record it. Yeah, I think they have, some people have already seen it. I think they've released like what's going to be on. I it. have it. I purposely have not looked at oh, it. So yeah, I, I haven't looked at any of it. As long as it's not no. like last year where they did an hour. It was two hours, and it was an hour Pokemon Sun and Moon. Granted, great game, and then it was an hour of Zelda. But the what they showed of Zelda was literally the first hour where you're just. <laughs> It's oh my gosh! I was like, it's such a hard shooting. game to demo. Well, though. I heard that the yeah. I think they're um they had it on the floor where people could play Mario Odyssey for like for the first time too. And that would be lit. Yeah, and um I really want to see some gameplay for Mario yeah, Odyssey as well. It's huge. I was so, just one, just one, just one. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm super excited. You're gonna go into ours. <laughs> No, <laughs> All right, do you want to go There's next? There's so many or, more or I have. Like, I have like, a list huh? of like, things go I'm excited me? for. Oh, it's up Can to you. Can I talk about I'll one go. more? Can I talk about no, one yeah, more? No, we'll come back to you. We'll come God, back to you. We're going to so go excited. one and one and one. Okay. Okay. All right, so my first one. Um, <laughs> Xbox One Scorpio will be given a November 14th release date. I'm getting specific here. Why are we going 14th? I, I don't know. It just it seems like a good date for okay. it. Okay. Um, and will be priced at $400 price point. I said it could be 500 I think it's going to be more I th- than 4 But I think they're going to take the loss in order to stay in line with the PS4 Pro. Because the PS4 Pro is $400. I'm, I think they want to stay on price point. But I'm going with 500 because they're touting this as a new, brand new console. They're saying that it's like the fastest, the best so one. Like They are like really hyping it up. So that's why, because they, they said that last year. So that's why like I, I'm thinking it's going to be 499 I think they've actually drawn back on the whole really? new console thing. Really? Yeah, I think they're kind of like pushing it as kind of like, you know, the the iPhone S, you know, type deal. So better but better than a obviously better than a PS4 Pro. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got all the teraflops and all the other <laughs> crap that I don't understand. All that stuff that we have no idea. It looks good, but yeah. You know. But all right, so I didn't write this one down, but I'm going to ask you to see what you think. What do you think they're going to name it? I think they're going to go old school and just call it the Xbox One Elite. 
That would make sense. Because that's what the original 360 was. It was the yeah. Xbox. You know, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because I know console. that they're just going under yeah. Project Scorpio right now. That's all that that's yeah, going to have been released. Yeah, I, they're going to release. I, hope, I, I think they're going to release the name during E3. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah, they yeah. Definitely they're definitely, definitely going to do that. So, I don't know. That's uh, probably, you're probably right. Xbox that One makes, Elite. That's, yeah. a, that's a pretty good uh, thing. <laughs> Xbox <Yeah>. Scorpio. <laughs> no, no. It won't be Scorpio. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Guys, we're actually naming it the Scorpio. That would be funny. Yeah. All right. What's your first one? Uh well, pretty much Rockstar is spoiled that they're not gonna show Red Dead Redemption. I 2. want that so bad yeah. though. But I, don't I need to. No, I'm fine with them. You know, taking their time. There's, but, there's uh, so many games. Yeah, you know, but I think I think Microsoft are actually gonna show a brand new IP. Uh, their own exclusive because they kind of need to at this point. <laughs> yeah, they they really don't have a whole lot. Uh, Who do you think is making it? I have no idea. That's the thing because like Gears because there's Gears that's Coalition what, Coalition Yeah. And then there's uh, 343. 343, which is doing Halo, which no Halo 6 is going to be shown, I don't think, either. Shh, and, maybe uh, that's on my uh, list. Oh, really? Oh, damn. Sorry. And um, uh, we got the Forza. People. Forza. Was, who does Forza? I think Microsoft I, Studios. Does I that can't one. remember who it is. But I think they're the only ones. Um, and then you got the people who made um, Crackdown. Uh, Crackdown, yeah. But they're they, show, they got the I new think, game. I think, but yeah. But obviously, the, they, we know there's going to be Crackdown 3. Well, they have their new game coming out. They do? Yeah. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, research. Research. Uh, research. Excuse me. Research. Could you do me a favor? Um, look up to see um, what the Crackdown 3 um, developers' uh, new game is called. Crackdown, Crackdown 3. 3. Developers. Crackdown new game. 3. Yeah. yeah. I think it's like... Um, oh, it's, I, no, I already got it. Agents of Mayhem. It's their, That's their new game. It's called Agents of Mayhem. Really? Yeah. I think it's actually coming out this year, too. I don't is think that, they have a specific date, but I think they have 2017. Really? Is that an Xbox exclusive? Yeah. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same people that made Crackdown. Oh, well, there we go. And I I didn't like Crackdown, so you know if you if you yeah, did, you know, going Crackdown. on here, but you know I, it wasn't for me. Yeah, I never cared for Crackdown either. It was ancient? Yeah, okay. It popped as soon as I you know, thought of it. Kelsey, what's your next one? Um, I want to see I want to see some more gameplay or at least some trailer for Death Stranding. Death that I Stranding. Me. I Do you really think that will happen, or is this just I what you're know. wanting? I, I think I really that's what I want, and that's what I'm hoping for. But I know that he's been kind of keeping it like mysterious a little bit especially since he's working with del toro there's like it's really big like i know he said that he wanted to do a small like more indie game but that's not he's just kind of going full force you're with talking it. about kojima, kojima or del toro yeah um and i was reading so like an article and they were he's kind of uh did you see the trailer for it uh yeah the, the what two or three of them the really weird the like, one where actually had del toro like character like oh yeah underneath the baby or whatever. and like the thing that was oh man that one is nobody so knows what this game is going to be about i just Very i want to know more i want to i see another like even if it's something i don't understand i want to see more of a little snippet is it, it weird that i don't want them to show anything like just I take it away I wanna, for a while I it's not gonna be ready for a while just leave it alone for a little bit i just want to i don't know i just want to see something and leather like random snippet just to ki- like pull mm. put people off i don't, I don't think know. you'll see anything i'm just so excited for it no no i am too i just want it like i but, just need something but you won't see anything kojima mm. is the disney of the video oh, I game know. world <laughs> I think, so it's I gonna know be like that 10 I'm probably years not going to this is just like wishful thinking that i would love yeah. to see it everyone will love to see it but Everyone knows he's going to take forever to get this at least. But you know, I'd rather they take their time with some of these games, like on uh, games. Like I know that, um, you know, like Red Dead and like stuff like that's been pushed back, stuff like that. But I'm okay with it because as much as it sucks and I want to play it, I'd rather it be quality. Mm. But I think that got pushed back because of Ubisoft. That's why I think they. I think that's why they they pushed it. I don't want to take any chances. So. All right, hold on, let's get into more. We only got so much time. Okay, All right, uh, next prediction. I got Last of Us Two gameplay. Will be shown on PS on the Sony stage, March nineteenth release date. Two thousand eighteen. Eight nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Because oh, you know, Last of Us you know, uh, came out in, in June. As a matter yeah. of fact, it was the week of E three. It got pushed back, but I don't think it's going to be next year at all. I don't oh. think they're ready at all. I think March nineteen. That would stink. Oh, I'm man. fine with that too. Let it let it sit for a little bit. Yeah. Which which what's yours? I think gameplay is going to be shown to Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Oh. I definitely and think I that's think it'll gonna come out summer gonna... of 2019. I think they'll actually give. You think 19 as well? 2019, yeah. Man, I hope that one's next month or next year. Ugh. I really do. Maybe, especially around the movie time it being released and stuff like that. I don't think they should wait so long. All right, next one, Kelsey. So I think my next one is well, I I wrote it down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really want Middle Earth Shadow of War gameplay, and I want. I'm hoping that's going to be at least 18, but I bet it's not going to be. No, it's this year. No, it's, it's not year. this year. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's this yes, year. It is. Yeah, I got my. Pre- I got pre. I got pre-ordered. Yeah. Am yeah. I thinking? Oh man, I got that mixed up with another game. I was thinking. Uh, 
What was I thinking that was no, coming out earlier around you'll that You'll definitely get gameplay, and then oh, you'll... Yeah. Is it I, is it I, I'm horrible no, with it. it. I'm it's... an idiot. I Kelsey'd it. I think it's a problem is, is I'm like, I, I had to write down notes, because I had, I had a whole, like, notebook of all my predictions, and I was, like, right at work, not doing anything, <laughs> writing things down, and then I had to, like, while I was sitting here before we did the podcast, I was, like, write down. I was, like <laughs> texting myself stuff, like, yeah. this, this, and this, and yeah, you'll like, definitely I was trying get to that, do though. it for... Um, Memory. So <laughs> I, WB games. Thank WB. You. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really um, want to see me. more of that. Though, I don't know. I just you'll see it. I, I know I will, but it. I just kind of like with it being so close now that I'm like I don't. I just want to wait now. Um, next one. Uh, this is a long shot. I'm gonna put it anyway. Uh, Metroid Switch. We'll have a teaser at the end of the Nintendo um, Direct 2018 release date. I fully disagree with that one. I'm sure it's not gonna happen. I, my hopes for Nintendo. In their E3 presence is so low. At the last couple think, of years, it's just been so dreadful. I think they like doing their own thing. Yeah, I think they're going to talk more, mainly about you, Mario, but I think they're yeah. going to have one surprise. That's what I think. Just really one. Think so? Yeah. All right. What's your I think next really one? Push Mario. Um, okay. So, unfortunately, Sony's going to push VR. Ugh. Don't you hate on VR? You still have to come over to the house such and play a, VR. Such a gimmick. Uh, come over to the house, and I promise you, you will fall in love with it. I just especially hope, Resident Evil. But I think they're going to show like at least maybe half the conference on VR. I think so. Just because you haven't heard so much about it lately. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, There's I can not see a lot it. Of software there, Kelsey. Uh, the uh, fractured but whole the South Park game because it was pushed back a year. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out this October. year. It's yeah. like it's coming out in 2017. Yeah. It was originally supposed to come out last year. They but, do uh, need to show some gameplay. So I really want to. They, they, they yeah, have to. There's plenty of gameplay. What are you talking ever about? Since, ever there's, since they pushed it, there's been like 30 minutes or an hour of gameplay. Really? Yeah. They, I haven't seen any of yeah. it. Yeah. I haven't seen any of it. Yeah. Yeah. It, look, it looks awesome. I can't wait for it. Remember, it's, it talks about how like he he's choosing like what kind of superhero he is, and of course, you know, Cartman's getting on him. You know, blah blah blah. Yeah. I can't talk about a lot of that here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it looks it looks great. Yeah, I really want more of that, especially since it was pushed back and stuff it would be cool to see um i'm gonna skip around because we uh, we don't have a lot of time um i'm gonna say we we're talking about earlier halo halo 6 teaser fall 2018 2018 yeah next year i don't think it's gonna be this year next year i think halo come out 2019 19 yeah okay yeah i think it's gonna be a little i think they might yeah. be waiting for everything to settle in the halo fight stunk Oof. well i think that's why they're trying to push it out <laughs> and try and get some good rep about it well, that's true i right. understand about that all right next all right, so I'm going to be the minority in this, but uh, they're not. No, no Shenmue three will be mentioned. No, I don't, no, think, I don't so. think it will be. But they will. I think they will announce an HD release of Shenmue one and two. But like, I don't think any gameplay and nothing will be shown from like, no, a trailer or no, anything. I don't, I don't think for three, but like for I think they will be an HD release for one and two, which will I flip a table for because <laughs> it's one of my favorite game series of all time. I love it. Uh, Kelsey, do you think uh, Gears of War five? No, I think it's no. too soon. I don't. I think that might. I don't well, know. Well, Gears just came out last year. I'd hope so. I'd, I'm hoping for 2018. No, I think it'll be 2019. I think, uh, if or not at least a little snip of it or something. I would like to see just a little, like, brief, even if it's just like a clip. I think maybe maybe DLC or something, maybe because you yeah. just had Gears come out. I'm pretty. What was it last year, right? Like October of last year. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's October when I got the new console. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think. I feel like they'd well. push that before they push Halo. No, I think Halo because Halo is going to be. I think that it's going to be that if if Halo does come out to the other it'll be that staple game for the Scorpio or whatever it's called. Mm. Mm, that's. I think like they they would do um, Gears as well for the Scorpio. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put two together just to save a little bit of time. Um, Virtual Console finally announced for the Switch. Oh please. Um, they're going to be talking about GameCube being the big draw. Um, the first three games announced are going to be Wind Waker. Yes. Mario Sunshine. Oh, I want that so Luigi's bad. Mansion. I love Mario. I played. I don't so think it's much gonna happen, Mario but that's Sunshine. just my, my one of love. my bold predictions. Um, the other one that uh, maybe this will get you to finally get that Switch. Pokemon Stars announced for Switch. What is that? That's like the combined one. Of you know, like they always do, like you know, Sun and Moon combined yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Then this is Stars. You know, uh, was it green and red or whatever, and then you had blue or whatever it was. Yeah. So it's it's the the two combined ones. So is it supposed to? Are they gonna like remake it? For no. It? Like, or is it gonna be the same? I think it'll be the same game, just you know, maybe all updated Pokemon graphics or whatever. Yeah. Then yeah. Because hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure they had this in development for a little while anyway. Probably. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Probably. All right. Next one. Um. But that's just going to show a new IP. That's going to be my last one. My last E3 prediction. I think they're going to show a new IP. They have to. They, yeah, have, they, a, have, to they have a lot. They have a lot. But I think that I think they will show a brand new IP. 
and uh, I think they'll announce something for maybe either Skyrim, a new not new Skyrim, but a new Elder Scrolls game. Uh, actually, dude, I have that right here. Elder really? Scrolls, yeah, Elder Scrolls Six teased at Bethesda. I will. I don't flip think a they're. Table. I think they're just gonna tease it. Yeah, they they have a lot coming out right now. But I will flip a table for that. Yeah, I'm I all about that. Um, so. One more right before I leave. Oh, just the evil weapon too. I just even though it was released or like announced. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Did it get Bethesda. announced? Really? It was I don't like think 2017. I mean, not that not announced. Did it get like, announced? They didn't, they didn't give any dates or anything with it. They just kind of like te- I've heard that some teasing in the uh, 2017 sometime. Oh, um, the other yeah, one really quick. Um, this is a long shot. I just really wanted to. Yeah, it was an official reveal at E3 2017. Oh, okay, sweet. So, or yeah, and it would oh pretty likely at least I think it will be. Because it did so well, and it's been like a few years since it was released, so this would be a really good time. Are you, really Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Knights of the Old Republic remastered. <gasps> do not, oh! do not, do not, do not with me. Not. That would be too good, do too good. Oh my goodness. That's oh. what I'm, I'm hoping. I, I doubt it, but God, I'm hoping. Even though Disney- I have it on every single tablet, I have it on my phone. It's not good. But give even, it to me, remastered. But even it, though Disney says it's not canon, how? Um, oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. Um. Oh, no. it, it was not me. Oh, it, it was it was uh, Kelsey. The, the, my Trader. ties come in that from uh, my Trader Joe's. <laughs> Is it sad that I know where the cups go for what drinks Tra- and Trader. places in Orlando? All right, we're gonna go into the second part of our topic of the show. Do we get another song? I don't know what to say, but we're going to do this anyway. So the second part of our topic of the show (laughs) is going to include our friend, Banksley. Banksley, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Banksley, Uh, up in here. Hello. Let's see. Hold on. Squeeze. Uh, Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. What we got here? Ah, where are these? are falling. I didn't do it. Okay. I, it was not me. I'm on the literal <laughs> other side of the room. So, guys, you, you cannot blame Here, me. We're a little bit sure. I, I come bearing gifts. Oh, be gifts. Thank talk. you so much. Oh. I, uh, I am subscribed to Loot Crate, and in the recent crate, there comes a uh, special exclusive Destiny thing. And I don't play games that often. I'm only a Nintendo guy. And so Destiny has a three-patch set of the three oh. factions. So oh, awesome. Yeah. So what, what's actually funny, um, so me, Dee Dee, and Kyle, we have our own clan of three people. Um, each one of us are each a different character. That's true. So we got uh, Kyle the Titan, me the Warlock, and then you the Hunter. No, I'm I was a warlock. warlock. Oh, I thought you were a Hunter. No, I'm a Warlock. Oh, dude, I totally thought you were a Hunter. No, I'm a Warlock. Oh, oh. oh but that, that's still really cool. Those are so pretty cool. Also. Thank you. Oh, oh that's, that's so awesome. Thank you. Gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Now, so good. Now, Mr. Banks, yes. we have you here to talk about Volcano Bay. Because um, we haven't went yet. You know, we, I'm we not had, going for another two had, years. We had Megacon. <laughs> um, I had stuff going on with the kids. Um, but you went. Yes. Tell us how, all about How did you survive? It. I don't know how. <laughs> like, I had to guess. I was at work this morning. And I guess like, oh, what are you guys doing today? Anything fun? They're like, oh, we're going to go to Volcano Bay. And I'm like, oof. How I survived is I was not in the park when the regular guests were in the park on mm. opening day. Um uh, we were there, uh, for those who don't know, we were there for a media event this past week celebrating the grand opening. Um, our exclusive day to explore the park was on Wednesday, the day before the first official day. Okay. Um, I was there Thursday morning for the grand opening ceremony, but then I booked it because there was a lot of people coming in and I didn't want to deal with that. Mm. Um, but from what I've explored, it is a beautiful water park. Uh, there is so much to look at. I still don't buy into the whole water theme park thing. That's just PR what do you mean? Uh, Universal has been touting this as a oh, the third water park. theme park. Yeah, okay. Their third okay. theme park. I don't buy into it's that. It's just a theme. It's, it's just it's a, a water park. It's a water park with excellent theming to it, but okay. it is not a theme park. <laughs> um, it's a water themed park. <laughs> exactly. Basically, exactly. Um, oh, uh, the rides are just your standard slides. There's nothing real themed to them. So, and that's really where I, th- I think a theme park is separated from water park is having themed rides. This one, not so much. But what well, the rides are a lot of fun. Um, lots of, like I said, lots of stuff to look at, um, and, and just really take it all in. What's the size of it? You know, I've been to, um, Aquatica, I've been to both Disney water parks. What's the size compared to the three of those? Um, I would say, hmm, really, it's been a while since I've been to Blizzard Beach and Typhoon and, and, and Aquatica. I would probably say size wise, it's probably a little bigger than Aquatica, but maybe not as big as Typhoon and Blizzard. Okay. I've actually They're... never been to the Disney th- water parks. What? Really? I've born and raised here and I've never been just because 
There's, I get into Aquatica I, for free. I have a very special place in my heart for Blizzard Beach. That was my first ever job. Nice. I worked at the Lada Wada Lodge. <laughs> I wore light blue pants and a hot pink Hawaiian shirt. I was 15. That's you. Yeah. That's, that's just your yeah. normal outfit at that yeah. age. You wore a lot of Hawaiian <laughs> oh, shirts. Yeah, it, was, it was great. Um, now, ride-wise, yes. Um, how are we talking? You know, what, what kind of what kind of slides do we have? I mean, there's everything from a, a, the, your standard kitty play area to the big draw for the park. Their big main attraction is the Krakatau Aqua Coaster, and it is a water coaster, kind of in the same vein as the. Um, the uh, what do they call it? The crushing gusher at Typhoon at Typhoon Lagoon. Yeah. Except instead of water propelling you up the hills, it is using linear uh, induction motors. The same kind of what? What is that? Th- it's the same kind of launch system that they use on Mummy over at Universal Studios. That's ah, intense. Wow. And you're in, it's in a boat. Wow. That's and, crazy. And water ride. So like you 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 go down the drop, and as soon as you hit the hill, you just you feel you start taking off up the hill. It's just the coolest feeling, and you hit airtime at the top of every hill. <laughs> Do you just oh like hold God. on? Is it just like you're just? Are you strapped in at no, all? No, no. You just so you just hold on. It's a it's a four person canoe, basically. Kind of uh, think of it like a, the space mountain vehicles, where you're sitting one behind another. Okay. Okay. Um, the person behind you's legs are kind of under your arms, like that, and it's four people per canoe. Um, and it's a short. I want to say maybe a minute long, but it's just jam packed with just so many awesome thrills basically that is the key ride in the whole park and is my favorite water ride in orlando hmm. huh. wow now um of course the other big one that they have is at the top of the the volcano itself the, I did the not drop do those. one. Oh, i'm not doing that either <laughs> so what are, what are those are those what? like drop ones yeah it's yeah. just like uh, you know over at, uh, at aquatica yeah. the ehu's breakaway falls yeah no thank you it's exactly like that you, you get into a container basically you Cross your arms, and they say three, two, one. The floor drops beneath you. Oh you gosh. go down the slide. Those nope. ones get me. Like, oh my gosh! And there these are jerks. three of them up there. These jerks. Oh, three. oh my gosh! There are three. I remember this no, day. you remember? Oh my! I almost <laughs> killed Mike and his wife Rocca. Oh my so, god! So, right, let me preface it first. So, um, this is at Aquatica, and um, is right after those opened, you know, mm-hmm. the, the drop slides, and then they had the purple one next to it. Yeah, um, the one we don't have. That to which is yeah, exactly. the normal. Well, so. I I told Kelsey that I did the the drop one. I'm like, no, I didn't. I actually did the purple one. And it turns out the purple one's actually scarier than what the other one is. Yeah, they told me it was just a normal slide. Like, oh, it's just a cool slide, whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll do that one. So me and his wife walk up and we're ready for the purple one. She's like, oh, you go first. I'm like, okay. And I didn't think of it because I trusted them stupidly. We saw this guy like at the drop slide who's like this older Spanish man who didn't speak English. He was like muttering in Spanish, like cro- like doing crossing and <laughs> like like like, uh, like religious thing, legitimately mio. freaking out. And that those ones, I started getting a little nervous to make because I hear they they have this weird sound that's like Dome. boom 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 boom. It's like a it's heart your heartbeat. Sound. It's supposed to be your heartbeat. And yeah. it's like. That's terrifying. Glad I'm not doing that. I was going to do this normal slide over here. I went down. No, guys. No, sir. It was straight down. Yeah, the, the the angle on the purple one is steeper than the drop slide. Oh, my God. And I was like, I wasn't expecting it. I started having like a panic attack on the way down because I hate drops. And <laughs> I like it like water. And I thought I was going to die. And I got out of there. And I like slapped him so hard. I was like, you're such a jerk. I was so mad. Oh, I sat there like laying in like the water like I have died. This is it. Please take me now. Oh, now, uh, obviously, I don't know the names of a lot of the slides. They all have kind of unique names to them. But there are three drop slides. Two of them are like Ehu, where you drop down and you immediately hit the the, the tubes. Mm. The red one, which overlooks the wave pool, I kind of th- I'm thinking of it as a cross between Ehu and Summit Plummet at Blizzard Beach oh, because wow. it is just a straight down through no, the volcano mm-mm. into a straight mm-mm. out mm-mm. splashdown. Mm-mm. 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 Mm-mm, mm-mm. Now, do they have like you know, like the um, the what's the the mat rides or whatever the um? Oh, where you're laying down head yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah they do ones? have those. Yeah. Uh, those weren't open during the media day, uh, but they do have them. There's four of them. You can race. So, but they're, but they're open now. They I, are I, open I, now. I, I, say, so I love I've, I've heard. I, I see what you're thinking. Did here. you have to wear your construction hat? As you're no, gonna... I did not have to wear a souvenir <laughs> construction <laughs> hat. I heard a little bit about that. Like I've heard that it's um, not getting great reviews from guests. From what from what I understand with the, with the whole tapu tapu system, it's really people are. It's not working how people expected it to work. Like. Even just today, um, they were recording this. I saw that some of the waits for the slides were up to 200, 300, mi- 300 minutes. Oh, gosh, oh no. And my the, God. The only the way it works is it's basically it, it, people think of it as a fast pass thing where you make a reservation, you come back at a certain mm-hmm. time. But it's not like that. It really is what they are calling a virtual queue. 
it's it, the tapu tapu is basically just waiting in line for you you go you tap it at the entrance of a ride it tells you how many minutes you have until you return you can go and do other things go to the wave pool the lazy river the unfortunate thing is though you cannot make any other reservations with any other lines because you're you're waiting in that line it's like if you were waiting in a regular line you can't leave the line and go wow. to another slide i didn't know it was like Ooh, that yeah that's so not very the only one you can actually get a reservation for with other slides is the coaster because it's going to be the big it's the big popular attraction so you can go first thing get a coaster wait time and then go do another slide huh. and they'll hold the coaster for you i mean but, is there mm. a lot of things that to do that do not involve wait time or is it it's just basically just food merch wave pool lazy rivers that's same thing as any other so wait yeah. time or exactly. you want to ride three rides you can only wait around for 200 minutes but <laughs> exactly. is, it, is it true that like because i watched this video of a dude he was like really mad about he was like from ABC News or something like that, and he was said like, you do the tap thing, and then you do whatever you want, but then when you come back, you wait in another line. Is that true? There's from what I've heard that there are still some lines when people return, Oof. but it's not. I think if I mean I'm not sure. I haven't gone during regular operating hours, um, but I would assume there's probably another 10, 15 minute line. Mm. Uh, because people are returning, and if yeah. people take their yeah. time getting out of the slide and moving to a safe distance, they can't let another person go until you know standard slide operations. But I, I definitely know they still have a lot to work out, and you know things. In what way? With with the tapu oh, with tap, the tapu tapu thing. Um, so and they, I, I guarantee you, by the end you? of the summer, mm-hmm. do they provide you with the wristbands? Yeah, this it's uh, automatic as soon as you um, enter the park. And then where do you return them? Like, where do you uh, leave when it? You, when you oh, okay. when you exit, there's a thing you can dump the tapu tapu in, and it. What do people take them? Like, is that, is that been I'm not a thing? Sure. Like, I'm, I know that's really weird. It's like a random well, thing. I think, I think there's a lot of people stationed at the exit. Oh, to make sure. oh okay, because I did. Because like, that sounds really expensive, and I'm like, oof. But they log your credit card information too, so if they don't have it, they're going to be like, well charge them i would assume yeah the, the way yeah a lot of people have been worried about that um the tapu tapu is going to be linked up to your ticket which is going to be linked to your universal account on the website uh, um, oh, and you okay. have the option to add a credit card or not that's not oh, a requirement okay. but if you do once you turn the a lot of people are worried oh well, i'll turn it in and it's still on the tapu tapu i watched it when you take the tapu tapu and put it into the bin that's provided to put them in as soon as it goes in, there's a sensor in there that disconnects it immediately. Ooh, Interesting. Awesome. Huh. So mm. your 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 credit card information can't be taken by anyone else. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just was really curious. About no, how no, that no. Works. I've yeah. seen a lot of concern so, about that too. So can you like do the kind of like a net like the Disney bands where you can like pay for stuff with your your band? Yeah, you can pay for food, pay for merchandise with the band as long mm. as you have a credit card linked to your universal. So like, Orlando what do people that just came off off the street do they have to have a universal account to? hook that up I with? I don't know like if, someone if an decided, account like, is required. Like if someone just walked in and they're like, oh, we're just going to do Like this. one ticket, please. Yeah, one ticket. I'm going to do this. I think that's fine. I, um, I think obviously if you want to do the pay, you need to have an account. But yeah. I, I don't think like people walking up who just want to get a one-day ticket, I don't think they yeah, need Yeah, those account. ones could steal it and then not have... If they but, get caught, not caught with it, they can take it off and just put it in their bag and leave. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've no, I'm sure there's, I'm sure they're having that problem. I'm, but I'm I not telling you guys that. to do that. I'm just like, I'm <laughs> just being really concerned. I'm, I'm like, how do they do this? I'm sure it's no different than you know when Spider Man you know went 3D and you know all the other people or not 3D but the you know, the 4K or right. whatever the heck it was. You know, you had people as soon as you're getting off, I need that, I need that, right, I need right. that, I need that. So I'm sure it's not going to be any different from that. Yeah, and then I mean, one of the things I love about the Tapu Tapu is the uh, you can use it for your loggers too. Yeah, that's oh, what okay. we were talking about. You know, last week. I love that idea. Mm-hmm. Love that idea because you know the, the fingerprint scanner at Universal oh, and, and, and stuff like that. You know, it, you, it, it, you can you know, oh did I do this one or what number did I do or this mm-hmm. or this or that. So basically, you go up and just tap it and your locker opens. Yep, oh, basically, love it. Love it's, it. It's great. Love it. And there's plenty of lockers around the whole park, so it's not just like one set of lockers at the and entrance. Are they free? Um, I'm uh, not sure how how they are. Um, I didn't think obviously so. for the media figured, day they were free, um, but I'm not sure how much they're going to be. I just didn't know how like, they were free to a certain time, like a uh, lot of Universal I is. It. Or I'm I, wondering I doubt if it's too. one price. It, it's a yeah. day. Usually day. I would see because I knew it's usually what like Aquatic would do. It would be like the one price for the whole day, right. and then go you know, pick up your stuff. Yeah, I, I know when at least when we were doing it, um, we were able to come come and go and unlock it as many times as we want during the day. So mm, I'm cool. I'm assuming that. For regular guests, they'll pay one price and then unlock it as many times. Oh, I need to go get my keys or my wallet or whatever else. Come, come back or whatever. Yeah, I never exactly. do. We never really. We used to go. We used to go to Aquatica all the time with the kids and stuff. Well, it's because we always had like twelve bags and nobody you know, wanted to go search underneath you know this bag and that bag and that bag in order to get to you know whatever was good. Yeah, and it wasn't like we had. You want some no. uh, body sprays and deodorant? Yeah, yeah. 
Now, uh, food wise, uh, is there any like themed food? I mean, they have some themed food. I didn't get to try a lot of the menu. Um, I just had a standard pepperoni flatbread because I'm boring when it comes to food. The, the, um, the, was the pork sandwich or pork they, slider? They have, like, that pork looked really slider. good. The, the, bar- the mango barbecue pork pork slider is delicious. That's what I, I was going to say. I think I saw you post a picture of that mm-hmm. one and that looked really good. How many of, restaurants are there? There are, you know. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Right. I just get so excited. That's there it. are three. There's there's one near the entrance. There's a, a smaller one near the coaster, and then there's another one near um, two of the two of the slides on the other side of the park. Um, and then there are two bars, walk up bars too. Oh, what were you saying? Before do, you were talking about the sliders. I don't remember now. Yeah, um, it should be it should be pineapple sliders, but that's okay. Do they do the? Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. They do it, have upside down pineapple pineapple chocolate cake for oh desserts. Oh my gosh, it, it reminded me of the uh, the one thing at Food and Wine Fest, the uh, the pineapple chutney or whatever it was, you know, pork slider. That's mm-hmm. what it reminded me of. Um, I'm not a big food guy, so I don't really know much about their food. <laughs> I, I just get what I like. And um, do they have like an all you can eat buffet type deal? Not that I saw. Okay. It's, it's all your standard walk up, order, pay at the counter kind of. That's thing. what I really liked about Aquatic. I think Disney does it too now, where you know. It's a, the one feed, and you can go back in, you know, how many different times or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, overall, what, what would you grade it? You know, would you would you say it's comparable to the Disney or to Aquatica? Definitely, or? It's definitely comparable. I would say to, to Disney more than Aquatica. I mean, Aquatica does have a, a tropical theme to it, but there's really not much theme going on mm-hmm. there. This one, the theme is on par with like Blizzard Beach, Typhoon Lagoon, in terms of like a story there and and the way it's all set up. I mean, obviously, I have not been since it officially opened, so I haven't seen it with guests, but I can already say from the day that I got to spend there, it is my favorite water park in Orlando. Wow. Um, If they can fix all this line stuff and and get that down to, you know, reasonable wait times, um, which I'm sure they will over the, over the summer once they kind of get rolling, um, and once fall hits and crowds die down, I'm sure that will be. It was Memorial Day weekend when they opened, too. Exactly. Yeah. So that's exactly. A big play. And that's how it always is with anything new new rides, new lands, new things like that. There's always going to be hiccups the first few months. Yeah. Oh, I saw some of the wait times for it, and uh, there was a joke on the internet that said, Wait until Star Wars land opens. And I'm like, oh, I won't be going for it. Th- I'm actually getting in line years. this week. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. go wait over by the fence. Um, yeah, but I, I think it's definitely worth going to maybe after summer ends. Let yeah. the crowds mm-hmm. die down, let them fix out their kinks. But. Um, from the day I got to do it, I had no problems with the Tapu Tapu. It all worked fine for me. Um, and I, I really think I enjoy that place just a lot more than any of the other water parks. Wow. That's crazy. And, and that's one thing going back about it too, that working out the kinks, there was a bunch of people complaining, a lot, a lot of guests complaining. Listen, if you're going on opening weekend, you have to expect, you have to expect it. You know, give, give the, the team members a little bit, you know, of and leeway. And a lot of the team members are fill-ins. Yeah, they, they, they just, you know, give them a little bit. You know, calm down a little bit, enjoy for what you're going for. You mm-hmm. know that you're going there on opening weekend. It's going to be nuts. Like, yeah. you know, people at Pandora, you know, what was the line going, you know, out? It was, out. It was almost near the entrance yeah. of the park. Yeah, three yeah. hour wait. Yeah. I would never. Just, you know, just but see, but, but that was on opening day. But now, just today, it's like, oh, you're free to walk right in. And oh, wow. And now all the wait times are really starting to drop compared to opening day, yeah. at least for um, Flight of Passage. Like, opening day was like four or five hours. It reached I six. It reached six. It reached six yeah. hours. And today, uh, the most I saw it was at two. Oh, wow. So they're they're dropping down. What now? They're getting the flow going. Do you think that's so. more Volcano Bay is kind of taking a little bit away from it? Or? You know, I'm not sure. Um, it's that's a hard hard one to, to and also, really think I mean, about. Memorial Day weekend's over. Like my job, we were really busy this weekend, and now we're slow. So people are going home like right before right. school ends. So they might have a little something. I mean, I know I've seen wait times compared to opening day at Volcano Bay dropping too. So mm. um, I mean, yeah, I think it's just the Memorial Day crowds are gone, so things are starting to flow. Oh, you're good. Touch that. <laughs> Flow a little better, and uh, they're getting more used to the crowds. So, yeah, uh, I, I still would say even for both Pandora and Volcano Bay, if you're local, wait till fall. Yeah, to 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 go. Awesome. Well, I I appreciate the uh, the review there, Mr. I, Banks. Sir, I actually have the oh. most important question yes. of all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you ready for this? Yes. Probably alcohol prices. No. <laughs> Were there any simulators <laughs> in <laughs> Volcano Bay? <laughs> Because I that that's what I want to know. You know, all right. I, I know. Oh this gosh, gonna, if you say yes, I'm gonna. I know this is gonna table. shock you. Okay, because it's universal. There are no simulators. What? Oh, 
<laughs> all the rides there are That's physical. That's it. I'm not going. You I'm can touch everything there. <laughs> I'm well, maybe not everything. I'm sure the lady in the will in the uh, beach chair won't like you touching her, but you can touch a lot of stuff there. Or maybe she does. No, I'm just I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That's hilarious. Good job, Universal. No simulators so far at a ride. The park. Oh, the water fountain, though. That's water actually fountain, simulator. That's you have to pay to actually go up there. Yeah. It's a simulating oh. water fountain. You have to actually. But again, thank money. you, Banks. I appreciate oh, the, uh, the insight. Would, would, would you like the a little bit of uh, stay and answer some other questions? Sure. Maybe? Um, to. Just, um, I think we're gonna forego the the random topic this week oh, um, because you, um, can do, we can yeah. we do can we do your random topic? Just, okay, we can do my random topic really serious. quick because really we're already at like an hour and ten. Um, I would like hereby to uh, express my disdain for one DD on uh, the to the left of me here. Uh oh. Uh, over the weekend, um, it was a uh, a free weekend for Overwatch. Okay. Uh, this is the the big you know how, how would you like hero shooter? So we explain. It's a MOBA first person shooter. Okay. Um, the kids, uh, my kids play this all the time, and they're like, "Yeah, you should play this." I'm like, "Yeah, it's just it's not really my deal, uh, multiplayer type deal." Um, DD over the weekend can tell me, "Oh, it's free! It's free! It's free!" <sighs> I got hooked. <laughs> I got hooked. Uh oh. I went and bought it the next day. <laughs> Um, Didi's cackle laugh, like um, so proud of himself. Uh, what, what was I up to last night? Fourteen, something like that. Fourteen, I think. Yeah, you got yeah. up to level fourteen. Uh, no, so fifteen. It, you got to fifteen. Fifteen, to something like that. I, yeah. I'm hooked. I'm, I'm straight up hooked. I can't believe it. That's I why didn't. I never listen to Didi when he tells me to play something. Um, yeah, so it's just really just expressing my disdain for Didi. Um, I um, kids are already. Oh, yesterday uh, before dinner, I, I meant to tell you about this. Um, we watched all of the uh, the cartoons. For, yes. for all of the different characters, all the backstory stuff. Yeah. yeah, and then they they were telling me about Terry Crews coming into the the game. That's not been confirmed. Oh, but I want it to be Terry Crews now. We don't we don't know if Doomfist is going to be Terry Crews. They oh. don't, they haven't, he hasn't confirmed it yet either. Oh, I really want that to happen. He denies it. D- Banks looks so lost. <laughs> uh, 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 anyways, I don't know any of this stuff. Can, I, I want to jump in real quick because yeah. you know, were talking about Guardians earlier, and I was sitting over there biting my finger because I really wanted mm-hmm. to talk about something that you know, you needs to be touched on in terms of the Marvel theme park universe is what they're calling it. The Marvel the theme, theme park, park universe. universe. Oh my god! It's um, <laughs> it's basically you know they Still use the same actors universe. and characters from the cinematic universe, but these are separate stories that do not tie into the cinematic universe. So it's the Marvel theme park universe, and just like any good Marvel film, there is a tag. There is a they hint a look into the future over outside guardians. Are you serious? I am dead serious. Do, you, do we have that on the, on the YouTube? We do not have it on our YouTube, but I've been reading stories all day. Um, there is a hatch to the right of the entrance of, of guardians of the galaxy with the Avengers logo on it. <gasps> and it is a hint of the major e-ticket Avengers ride that is coming to California Adventure over the oh, next. Of course, California, California gets everything. We will never California. get Marvel here. Oh. Just accept Universal, it now. Just give it up, please. please I'll on. I'll give you a dollar. If we're chipping a go dollar, away, from, go away, California. <laughs> and from what I read during the opening night event, there were people in hazmat suits from the Avengers team around that hatch doing something just kind of setting up a story for what's going to be what? coming in the future. I so about even in the theme guys, parks are getting guys. tags. Oh, that's so cool. And it also ties into the Iron Man experience in Hong Kong. There are elements that call call out to that, Tony uh, Stark being in Hong Kong for the Stark Expo. Of course. So it's all connected in the theme park universe. And what do we get? Well, now apparently Simulators. it's going well, to be a Tron ride now, apparently. That's what I keep, you know. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> we'll just go to California we next we year. Get, we That's it. Get, we I'll get, be going in July, so I'm excited. We're gonna, we legitimately gonna, have nothing cool here. Nothing. We still have Tower of Terror. We do have something cool here, Didi. We do still have Tower of Terror. No. All right. Next. <laughs> uh, next question. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get into the uh, new releases of the week. Um, first up, we have uh, movies. Uh, we have uh, maybe a big movie this weekend. Captain Maybe. Underpants. Get out of here. Oh goodness, no <laughs> one cares. No one cares about that movie. By the way, did you guys see the the person at MegaCon dressed up yes, as Captain Underpants? Yes, I did. That was very funny. That was that was awesome. That was very funny. Um, Captain Underpants actually looks funny. It's Kevin Hart. It does. Kevin Hart's um, in. Come on, Kevin Hart is awesome. Um, some movie what, hater one one or hater. No, I I can't wait for this movie. Wonder Woman I comes out this wait. week. Have you seen? Is it the like Rotten Tomatoes from yeah, today? Yeah, ninety eight Rotten Tomatoes. It is the first DC movie to finally be certified yeah. fresh? Yeah, really. Yeah, um, I Gal think, Gadot, the love of my life. Thank you for making this movie awesome. I think IGN Don't even you? called it a seven point eight, yes, which is you know, really good at their really good. their standards. Yeah. And they're in the IGN are anal about their like. Uh, 
their uh, especially their I think things. they have a yeah. lot of a uh, bad taste in their mouth from DC's movies. So I can't wait. I really can't wait. It'll be a breath of, breath of fresh air until Justice League comes out. I'm sure that will go down. Ruin well. it. Well, yeah. Joss, ruin Joss, everything. Joss, well, Joss Whedon's yeah, in Joss charge Whedon. of it now. Well, so. well, no, he's just editing. Oh, no, I he's thought just you know, he, didn't he take over directing? I think no, he, he took over direct, reshoots or something. Yeah, something. directing. He took does. over some stuff. Yeah, but he's mainly helping yeah. with putting it together in post. Uh, so we're gonna get into the the TV of the week. Okay. Um, my episode this week or my show is this new show that I found on Netflix called The Keepers. The Keepers. <gasps> no, oh, that was gonna be mine. Are you serious? Yes, All right. It's well, so good. Uh, we we found it on Netflix. Uh, has it, have you guys watched the uh, the Making a Murderer documentary? Oh yeah. I have so not finished Keepers. I'm it, only a couple episodes. I'm in. only in a couple too, so I won't I won't spoil nothing. So um, The Keepers follows um, was it like back in the '60s? There was a uh, Catholic church or a Catholic school. I do know the whole story. Um, in Baltimore. Um, and basically this uh, nun that was teaching, she's younger, um, found dead. She went missing. And then like two months later, they found her. Um, come to find out she was... It was um, earlier than that. That was only a few weeks, couple weeks. No, it was a couple months. Couple okay, months. This is a true story? Um, true story. Yeah, true story. This is something um, that happened. Apparently she found out some uh, shenanigans was going on with the priests. Um, with the children, like the like it was like an all girls school. Yeah, and don't don't go into detail. No, 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 I'm saying it was, that's all I was gonna say about that. But some shenanigans. It's it's documentary. They, it's an hour long episodes, and I think there's like ten episodes. It's, it's definitely it's, phenomenal. It's definitely it's really good. But if you have you're triggered or it's very sensitive to certain things that that if you're sensitive to any of that kind of stuff, don't yeah, watch it. Yeah, yeah, don't watch it. TVMA, but it, of course it's a documentary about a murder that happened, so you have yeah, to expect okay. that. But it's, it's really interesting. Really good. Now is it is it like where remember like in making a murderer uh it it kind of makes like you mad the, yeah yes where instead of the cops it's the well you don't know i i don't know yet I'm, a couple all, all i'm gonna say is that um from what i've gathered watching some of it and some of the things i've read about it it looks like the the cops were bribed okay. in a certain way all right that's it yeah just yeah. keep it there yeah, yeah. We'll keep it that's there. all i'm gonna say we'll that's definitely all check I, it out i liked it okay all right, who's next? Who you got? I guess I'll be next. I'll do two shows. One, I just restarted watching Better Call Saul. So good. <laughs> so good. What, what, would you first recommend watching Breaking Bad first, if in case you haven't watched it? Of course, it? watch Breaking Bad first and then watch The greatest Call show Saul. in the history of TV, not Game of Thrones. Okay, I was going to say, it's the second I'm saying that's show. not named it's Game not, of Thrones. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, watch Breaking Bad first, then watch Better Call Saul. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Banks, have you, have, you not watched, have you not watched Breaking Bad? I have never seen Breaking Bad. Um, next, will, next, you're gonna excuse tell, myself. Ne- next, you're gonna tell me you haven't watched Game of Thrones either. Oh, off the podcast, off the podcast, off the podcast. <laughs> Get out Welcome of my and goodbye. office. <laughs> Get out of my studio. Um, I actually didn't watch Breaking Bad from the beginning, uh, like when it first started on TV. Um, I caught up yeah, on yeah. Netflix and Same. then started watching it that way. Same. Breaking Bad is amazing. So good. It's so good. Um, no one can act like Brian Cranston as um oh god, I totally lost the name. Um and um, Walter White. Yeah, Walter White. Yeah, there yeah. you go. There you go. I've never seen it, but it's so ingrained yeah. in pop culture. Oh, it's yeah. So good. So good. And then What's your, what's your other one? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You talked about this last week. Yes, I did. And it's oh, still goodness. watching it. Oh god. And then Attack on Titan, the new episode was out of control. I haven't watched this week's yet. You still haven't watched it? No. Oh no. Did we talk about the other one the other from last week? Is there a new episode this week already? Yeah, there's a new episode at Saturday at 3 p.m. It's okay. on Crunchyroll. I, I haven't watched that yet. Or Hulu, Hulu. on Sunday. All right, Kelsey, what you got? Um, it's not a new show or anything, but I just re-watched... Uh, it's only like three seasons, I think. I think it was only three or four seasons of Being Human, the U.S. version. I've just been re-watching that again, and I love the characters, and they're really good. It just, it's about a... Is that- a Isn't ghost. It, that's the one from the, oh. the dude yeah. from Star Wars. Sci-fi, sci-fi, yeah, where like one. she's haunting the house and the vampire and a werewolf move in, and it's just kind of like they're quirky roommates, but it's also kind of dark in some areas. Oh, they're really they have like a really good chemistry as friends on the show, so you just want to like be their best friends. All oh, I thought you were gonna say it was like a supernatural version of uh, the real world. <laughs> It kind of is. <laughs> but like, it kind of is. Like, honestly, that, why is that not my roommates? Like, why can't I be roommates with a cool ghost? Five monsters move into a house. <laughs> Rar. 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 <laughs> I want to suck your blood. <laughs> blah, blah. Blah, blah. Yeah, it's Don't really go, good now. Blah, 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 blah. It is a really good show. All right, Banks. Uh, since you're on the podcast, yes. what TV show should you recommend everybody um, watch? Well, I mean, timing wise, it works out with today's news. But recently, uh, my wife and I started re watching Animaniacs on Netflix. Yeah. Um, okay. it's just, oh, it's just so much fun 90s nostalgia and so many jokes that you didn't catch as a kid. Oh, my God. And yes. Watching it today, it's just like, oh, my God. It's like, amazing. Yeah. How, how was I 
allowed to watch this. There's so many like adult jokes in it that you don't even realize as a kid. Oh, uh, also, be sure to catch a new episode of Attractors Magazine, the show, this <laughs> Thursday on our YouTube channel because we will be going in depth of Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout at Disney California Adventure. Now, anytime oh, you do a cheap plug, you're supposed to go like this. Ding! <laughs> We all have to Mick do it. Mick Foley style. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold <laughs> 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 um, on. Now, video game-wise, there's really not a lot this week. Um, Star Trek Bridge Crew comes out for PS4 or PSVR. Um, uh, eh. Don't buy VR. And then... You, buy VR. It's so good. Uh, and Tekken 7 comes out. Oh, by the way, speaking of Tekken 7, there's an awesome... Have you seen this on IGN? Mm-hmm. Where um, there's a, um, a professional video game player. Uh, he tries to fake playing Tekken 7 and learning how to play Tekken for a tournament in like two weeks or something like that. It's supposed to be, it's called like faking a pro, like how to fake a pro or something like that. Interesting. It's a little series on IGN. Each episode's like nine minutes, but it's very good. Yeah, also, I was never I was never good at Tekken. Neither was I. It was very hard. There's a, a relatively new app available that I've been sucked into. If called you say this Magikarp thing, Magikarp Oh my jump. God. That I, I, it is so stupid. It's so easy to play that I've just been so addicted to it. I have to, <laughs> a, after the Tsum Tsum incident of my life, I have to stop playing stupid phone games because <laughs> that's all I do. Yeah. And all the I beauty do. of it is you don't, you, you obviously there are power ups you can buy, but you do not have to buy a single one to, to play. To do anything. And it's, it's just addicting. And oh, uh, one other game that actually came out this week, it's actually still in beta, but you can actually get it to play. You know, you get trophies and whatnot for it is um, Marvel um, Omega. How do you how do you get this game? It's all, it's free on the PSN. It's not on Xbox I yet. I searched everywhere. Really? Yeah. I'll send you a link later. It, it kind of plays like um, Diablo, um, but you get like a, a roster of different characters. Um, like, you know, there's Wolverine, there's Daredevil, there's Jean Grey. You know, basically, if it's a Marvel character, you, you think about it. Matter of fact, uh, even Squirrel Girl is in there, Kelsey. <laughs> Um, but yeah, plays just like Diablo. You get you know loot for your character, level them up, blah blah blah. I'll send you a link later. But it's Please. it's fun. Yeah. Kelsey, um, have you thought about auditioning for that new t- TV show that they're doing, Squirrel Girl? I'm not an actress. I'm an idiot. No one <laughs> would ever hire me. Are you kidding me? She's and barely functioning. Just I talking. can't even function. I'd be like, hey, guys, let's, let's here for Squirrel Girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say something. I can't say that. <laughs> hey, you did a great job on the show when you reported. No, I did not. I didn't watch <laughs> you it. You did. I did not. You I did. She's not. lying. This, this is the clip. Ghostbusters table. I saw a clip and then I refused. I turned it off and I refused to watch the rest oh. of it. Oh. Don't ever, guys, watch it. I was so nervous and I, oh my gosh. Banks, can we uh, put in the uh, the details underneath uh, a link yes, to, be a link to the episode? I will never in the be on the show below. again. I will never be on the show again. Like I was such Why a freaking. I, I'm thinking of that SNL skit. We're like, this is you know, blah blah uh, blah. Uh, oh, what episode? I thought you were oh, very can natural. We ta- can, can we talk about your first vlog episodes? Oh, I was awesome. What are you talking? You about? were ah. awful. <laughs> Awful. Oh. You heard that right? Awful, right? Awful. Uh, she, she she never on the show again. And, and dropped Saying it. Well, um, yeah, I'm gonna drop the mic and I have. I'm gonna go now. Bye, guys. Mm. Boy. Uh, so we got a couple questions. All right. Um, let's go, uh, let's our go, friend let's go. Eric Astasio says, "If you had a hundred dollars to spend, what would you spend it on? Make it nerdy. Make it fun. Make it worth it." Banks, you're the guest. Go ahead and answer first. Credit card bills. <laughs> oh, that's not fun. <laughs> that's not fun. No. Uh, okay. Um, I would. I would use it to upgrade my universal annual, uh, annual pass to three parks so I can go to Volcano Bay. All right, fair enough. Didi? Oh, man. Uh, loot boxes. No, actually, I, 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 I don't fall for those loot boxes anymore. I did it for a hot minute, and I was like, no. Um, probably, I don't know. I'd probably You'd get a new drink it away. $100 to switch. I normally, I normally would drink it away, but uh, probably the new video game. $100 to switch. Oh, that's Ooh. good. Prior towards a new TV. Ooh, that would I do. Be good. I, I mean, I, I don't do need, need a new, a new TV, TV, but I would like a new TV. But we I would the, put a hundred dollars towards the Switch, though. We were in Best Buy the other day, and I saw this uh, nice seventy-two inch, you know, four K, you know, for a grand. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh. oh, you bought it for me? Oh yeah, oh, sure. Thank you. Yeah, my birthday it's in, was the, this it's week. in the trunk. So my birthday was. Give it up for Thursday, Kelsey. So Happy so birthday, Kelsey. Give me that. Let's give it up for um, Kelsey. Honestly, yeah. Hey, thanks, guys. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Anyways, um. I don't know. I spent so much money this weekend. So much money. Maybe I would just put that back just to make myself feel better. Or there's this really awesome uh, dress I saw online. I think it was like black milk or something like that. It was like $75, but it was an Ewok dress. It was like a tight one that had like a giant Ewok on it. And I just wanted it really bad. <laughs> so either that, that's how I want to spend my money on. <laughs> A sexy Ewok a dress. Sexy Ewok. It's sexy Ewok. I don't think I'd ever put those two words together ever. 
No. Kelsey just did. Oh. That's who I am as a person. Oh, okay. like, um, matter of fact, uh, Eric actually has another question. Uh, Gosh, it says, Eric, could you come please on. discuss how horrible no. the Transformers no. movies are and how they seem to get worse? They get are trash here. and that's it. Dude, the Transformers movies minus two were have all been amazing. <laughs> the when fourth it comes one, to just like the fourth oh, one, goodness. the fourth one, Impossible White Man. The second movies. half is an Impossible. It turns into an Impossible White Man movie. It goes from a sci-fi to Impossible White Man movie. So you're gonna see the new one in theaters? Of course. Yeah. Oh yeah. It looks horrible, I but I can't wait. I, 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 I can't I, wait. I, I saw the trailer for the first time when I went to see Guardians uh, last night. Uh, is Megan Fox back in this one? No, she just really looks like her. Oh, okay. I thought that. Yeah. At I was first like, look, I was like, oh, so they're combining the old and no. new. Yeah. yeah, I thought so at first too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but, but it looks so dude, bad. Dude, I can't wait. But it looks horrible. It looks amazing. I want to know what happened to Shia LaBeouf's character. What? Where did he go? Died. He died. Yeah, Watching he his own movies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh Shia Jesus. LaBeouf. Goof LaBeouf. Uh, let's see. What, um, Bryn over on Twitter, he says, how do you feel about the sell-off of IO Interactive and the old IADOS properties from Square Enix? What do you think will happen to Hitman, Tomb Raider, and Deus Ex? Um, actually, um, News just broke off. Well, first off, Tomb Raider and Deus Ex aren't going anywhere. That's not IO. That's IDOS, but they're still owned yeah. by Square. But well, Square, Hitman? yeah, Hitman. Well, yeah, Square, Square said they're going to do the Hitman. They're going to yeah. take over. So they're going to keep everything. It's just yeah. that IO is going bye bye. I don't know what they're yeah. going to do. It's it's weird that they didn't like sell it or anything. They just said bye. Well, yeah, we're not associated with them anymore. Yeah, you know that you know people that made Hitman. Yeah, no more. Yeah, uh, Square, I mean, I Square Enix said they're Hitman fans, so I'm not like but lost for that. It sucks for the people that work there. Yeah, like, I, mean, I feel bad. Whenever games. things stuff like this happens, I feel more like bad for the the companies but, than I do anything but, else. The, the, the people the, in the company. But the newer Hitman game has such a huge fan base. I feel really bad for them because they were expecting a second season, and so now it's like who knows now. But um, really quick though, uh, Tomb Raider's still going to be around. They already made no, plans they, for oh, the new no, one. they are not. It's not going anywhere. Uh, they already made plans for the new one to come out, and then so. the movie. And then the movie, so and she looks exactly like her. Yeah. It's crazy. It's not the same girl. No, no, no. It's uh, the one who was in Ex Machina. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll go uh, one more question, okay. and we'll go uh, Disney since uh, Banks is here. Oh. We're gonna go. Disney has to close an attraction in Magic Kingdom and replace it with another IP. What attraction closes and what <sighs> takes its place? I can't answer this, so it's all you, Banks. <sighs> See, I don't have okay. that nostalgia, so I don't care okay. if it's old. All right. I know this goes against what the rumors are at this point, but you're going to get rid of that Tomorrowland Speedway because that oh. is a whole lot of wasted space right Amen. now. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. A whole lot of wasted space. Amen. And you're going to put the Tron ride right there. Now, all right. In with Tomorrowland. You're going off a rumor. I'm what you. do you want to happen? What do I want to happen? I still want them to get rid of that dang Speedway. <laughs> Amen. Um, that smell over there. Oh. I know. Believe I know. me, I used to work there. I know, I know all about that gas. It's smell. horrendous. But I mean... I really have to think about it. It has to obviously be something futuristic, because because Lord knows that our Tomorrowland needs a new big oh, e-ticket attraction. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. People get really bored over there. They're just like, eh. I mean, well, between <laughs> Monsters and uh, Stitch, I mean, I, as much as I love Monsters, Stitch is wasted space. Yeah, Stitch yeah, is wasted space too, but it's not much space. space. So yeah. the the Speedway w- would be able to b- actually put in a, a good e-ticket attraction, and I can't for life me think of something like. Tomorrowland futuristic t- you, at the moment. But would you say they might build like a little sound stage over there and like kind of do something? I could see really them doing neat? that. Like maybe doing something where the sound stage itself is uh, what the house is, the ride is across the train track ne- in that mm-hmm. unused space next to yeah. Space Mountain. And then you either cross over or under the train track to get oh, there through so the queue, funny. like Space Mountain, where you go under the train track. Coaster. Yeah, it has to be, it had to, it had to be a co- uh, like an awesome coaster. Yeah. Magic Kingdom needs more thrills. Why don't we just get rid of Carousel of Progress and put a simulator there? Stop no, it. Get out of here. No. Get out of here. Oh my Off gosh, the podcast. I need try- somewhere to take a nap. Uh, no, exactly. You don't even care it's about the ride. You just want I don't care about the ride. I just, in, in all honesty, Shining I hope they the update the carousel. They need to update that last scene. Dude, that in futuristic scene is way. so futuristic to me. Dude. <laughs> I love that how it gets VR. super 80s. VR. It gets super VR. 80s with it, and it gets like... Do, 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 well, the, the, the stainless laptop, steel top. Just Bro. the laptop alone. It looks like you know, one of those VTech things Bro, that kids buy now. Th- dude, obviously, the mom is a cop, and she has the one of those those gigantic what? metal... Uh, it's, it's like it looks like a metal one of those metal laptops that, that the police officers have. Oh, cars. <laughs> like, I just love. About? She's that obviously ride an officer so of the law. Much. If they and ever got rid of that ride, using. I'd be devastated. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, I don't think that would go away. But you know, like like and I said before, I'm not. I don't care about nostalgia. Just bring on. He has no new. heart, is what he's saying. No, nope, no heart, no heart. Whatever. No magic. Unbelievable. Next thing you're gonna say is get rid of the TTC, right? 
No, I actually like TTC. What about the? Say. What yeah. about Haunted Mansion? If you say that okay with that, I will punch you in the face right now. I think it needs he to would. be updated. I don't like the what? I don't like the, the attic scene at all. That's what? That is yeah. iconic. You don't like the, yeah, the it's bride? Not iconic. It's it, iconic. They just added there a few years ago. It's not iconic. It's still iconic though. I would rather the, the hatbox ghost. I'm so glad you don't work you at Disney. You can add the hatbox ghost because that's how it is in California. Yeah, but I I don't like the whole the um, oh gosh what what what's the type of it's not even technology it's the whole oh I'm gonna move the the picture a little bit and it disappears thing the mirror that they do there where it's like oh you look at this oh, way yeah disappear. yeah I don't know there's something that they could do better and I think the animatronic of the bride it just needs to be updated the animatronic yeah it does need to be I think updated, that's but I, I like I, that I, I, agree I like with the that, bride but I like that that story can you guys I she's the woman after my own heart can you guys imagine if Mike was the president of theme park operations? Put a ring <laughs> on it. Disney? Gone away. Oh my god, <laughs> gone away. And we, we thought everyone was mad at the dude who runs Epcot. Woof! I won't be mad at you. Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't care. Mad at you. Don't care oh, one boy. way or the other. I'm oh, all in it for the money. Obviously, <laughs> give me that big IP. Mike would be like, "It's gonna be food and wine every day here at the Magic Kingdom." Oh, you, you didn't know that drink, it already drink, is. Drink, 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 drink. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how how much is Epcot having food and wine fest this year? Oh gosh. A long time. That and since Flower and Garden is now basically <laughs> it's mini no food half and wine. A, it goes half, a, it really half a year for Flower and Garden, half, half a year for, for Food and Wine Fest. No, I'm not even kidding you. Like, and who's you, I angry to, about this? No one. I am. I went to Your Flower. Wallet. Well, I'm, I went to Flower <laughs> and Garden uh, yesterday. Yes. Not yesterday. Sunday, the day before it ended, and literally the only thing that's related to flowers and gardens was literally two feet. <laughs> the oh, butterflies, wow. and then there's that little the side area. The rest of it area. was just like alcohol. The rest of it oh, is literally food and alcohol. All right, okay, well, that's it. I think we uh we went plenty we a long enough. time uh, sorry, today, guys. guys. We did. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry for like uber long. Um, but um, also uh, just so you know, make sure you follow us on Twitter. We're at Attractions EXP. You can send us all kinds of qu- uh, questions, comments, concerns. Uh, talk about how much you're mad at me for uh, getting rid of all of Magic Kingdom. Uh, uh, mad at Kelsey for Kelseying for being me the podcast. for just being the worst. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I feel like we should do Send- a vote. Like get Kelsey. It's gonna be like a trending thing. Like get Kelsey off the podcast. We don't want her here oh, anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Start thanks. It. Make sure. Thank you for being research and for the info for You're Volcano welcome. Bay. Thank awesome. you for having Thank me. You on. Yes, it was awesome. And uh, shout out to Tony Longworth who does our theme. Yes. Exactly. Oh, Tony, you awesome. to it. Tony, you the best, ha! the Beat real you. MVP. Yeah. Beat you to it. We've used Tony's music on the show in the past before. He's, he's great. Yeah, we we love it because it's it's very like uh. It feels like game. it's a loading scene. It sounds, it like sounds loading very screen. much like they would use that Universal would use on a simulator. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, I want to take like I really hope that we should We're rewatch or re-listen Tony. to this and do like a shot every time you say Listen, simulator. Listen, make good simulators. They just make too many simulators. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, as usual, guys, um, great podcast. Uh, we just have Hopefully. no idea how to uh, end it. So um, bye 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 goodbye bye 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 later bye bye. Oh yeah, we actually have to wait to the camera this time. Do we really? So bye. 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 Later. Bye. I'll see you later. <laughs> later.